everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Civ Show. I'm your host, Moisas. And Nystagmus here. And we have two wonderful, wonderful guests today with you. We have uh, the first ever female on The Civ Show, Sophie Quests. Round of Hello. Applause for that. Thank you for having me. And we have New Zealand representation with SG Naname. Naname? Naname? <laughs> <laughs> Nominate. Nominate. Close enough, Nominate. though. Thank you. What, is that it's like okay. A, it's not, it, oh, yeah. It's not like we was. clarified it before the stream there, more. It's cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a thing with me. Me and languages <laughs> don't mix at all. I don't know. Okay, Sophie, plug your ears for a second. I don't know history. I don't know languages. I don't know anything what? to do with any other culture. <laughs> I am terrible. Okay, I'm a terrible human being, but I like being here because you guys introduced me to, to these things. So, you know, educate me. I'm, glad, I'm all ears, you know what I mean? I would love to hear about everything. Uh, we have today a North America versus a Oceania playlist, I guess I'll call it. Uh, we have Canada for Nystagmus, Cree for myself, Australia for Sophie, and Maori for S. G, which I'm just gonna call you SG from like the rest of the night, man. Okay, cool. Uh, are we guys, are we ready to get started? Should we get in it? Yeah, I'm ready. I am ready. All right, let's get into the game, folks. All right. Let's Ooh. get crack it, as they say in Australia. <laughs> let's get cracking. That's, that's a common expression in like everywhere. <laughs> Wait, it... do they? Oops. <laughs> Let's get crack a lacking, yeah. you know? I feel like that's a normal thing okay, to say. Crack a lacking is specifically American, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Kiki's house. Let me check everybody's Ooh. cameras, making sure everyone's working out. Uh, Nystagmus, did you pick a difficulty you shouldn't have? What do you mean? <laughs> did you click on prince or did you click on something else prince i only have one warrior and one settler oh okay my i don't bad. know what, I don't know what screen you're my looking bad. at man my bad <laughs> oh, i have all my cameras mixed up then oh no oh no you could have also looked right. at the city name or the yeah, color or the color uh, or yeah, like you know there's bad, a lot of clues bad. right I like i don't know what's happening i don't know what's happening oh this is definitely <laughs> wrong okay My bad. <laughs> we, oh, Sophie, you have to hit. Uh, uh, we're, we're waiting on you. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I won't okay, be slow. There's one person who shouldn't be critical. It's Moy about whether or not he should end his turn. I'm not being <laughs> critical. I'm just saying, like, hey, some people don't play multiplayer, so they're not aware of what's going on. It's fine. It's fine. Right, it's okay. Sophie, I do understand that you you don't play a lot of multiplayer. And SG also, you don't you this is your first multiplayer game of civilization ever? Both of you? No, oh, I've played two games against my friends, but they ended in fifty ten, so I don't know if they count. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, I played last week in preparation for this to test it out, and um, yeah, it it was it was different. It's, it's way more fast paced. Hey, Moy, I think you're gonna be pretty happy with my start. Uh, I'm not even looking at your start right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am looking. You're the at greatest, the greatest ally to have in this game. I hope so. Your attention, your attention to detail is what I like most about well, you. Well, my attention to detail right now is focused <laughs> on trying to fix these cameras, sir. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well. All right. Just know that if Sophie Quest is bigger than everybody, that's actually Nystagmus' screen. And when Nystagmus is bigger than everybody, that's SG's screen. And then Sophie's is when SG's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> you got them all over the place. Everything kind of got mixed up. Everything got mixed up. So <laughs> it's a little, it's a little odd. It's a little odd. Even I'm like really confused of, of what's going on. Uh, waiting on you there, Nystagmus. Now can now can I complain? Now that it's you? Yeah, you can. I didn't oh, know that you didn't do anything other than complain. Oh my god, <laughs> bro! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I got I gotta fill in I gotta fill in for Zoe, right? Like. That's what's gotta happen. And Sad. so, don't, 
if there if there is iron, do not put any of your warriors on the iron. All right, fair. Although, if it's looking juicy, I can't really help myself then. Have you seen my start now, boy? Yeah, I did. I like it. I am smart. It's nice. SMRT. I like it. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and come your way, Sophie. Because I'm in the middle okay. of the ocean, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, come by. Swing by. <laughs> Swing, <good. laughs> Swing by. Swing by. What um what were the like the the boats called that um Pacific Islanders used to use? There was like a specific name for those boats. Maori <laughs> um, called them wakas. I don't know what Pacific Islanders called them. There you go. That's cool. How do you spell that? W a k a. Waka. We'll do an investigation live. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Are you from? Are you are you from uh, Maori descent? SG. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I um, I speak Maori as well, somewhat. You said it was your first nice. language. I think when I met you, right? Yeah, it was my first language. I grew up speaking it until I was like, uh. Old enough to be an intermediate. I don't know what that translates to in American school, though. It's like uh, well, how old are 11 you? Eleven or twelve years old. Eleven or twelve. That's like grade six. Yeah, grade six or seven. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So, um, two years before high school, I went. I started going to English schools and picked up English properly. Nice. <clears throat> See, you're already more cultured than I am because you know two languages. I only know one. Oh, tell me about <laughs> it. I mean, I'm trying to learn French, but that's not going to, I don't know, that's not going to happen for years. <laughs> Why French? I have, uh, you know, it, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I like it. You can that's read right. a lot of like texts, like um, historical texts that are written in French. Yeah, um, I think in the, like a lot of the Middle Ages, France, French was like the st um, standard language for like the royalty and the aristocracy. Uh, like, so there's a lot of, I think, primary sources in French. Yes, there is. Oh my God, how do I, how do I play the Cree? I don't remember. Oh my God. Uh -huh. oh, 20 dollars. I wanted a peanut. Borderline. I hear cool people yeah, come up, on borderline. this show. Make lots Borderline, thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. Six months, damn. How you doing, buddy? Right. Borderline is a kind of a big deal. Just <laughs> letting you know. <laughs> I mean, S M A R R T. Oh my gosh. Too many things going on. Well, speaking of like French, we're supposed to learn. Theoretically, we learned French uh, French in Canada. In theory. Yeah. In theory. <laughs> In theory. I know bonjour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know bonjour. ça va. And bien. Oh. <laughs> bien. Yeah. Come see, come oh, see. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, second, la second language, by the way. LOL. Really? No. No. It's <laughs> no, not Canada's right. official second. It's Canada's <laughs> official second language. Is what I was saying. Like, sec, like yeah. that's what I meant. But do oh, I yeah. speak it? No, not a chance. Mm. Isn't there only like certain states that get um, that are heavily French speaking? Yes. So uh, Quebec is a the only like officially French speaking province that we have. We call them provinces, not states. That's an American thing. Oh. That's actually. Am I false? Am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. Oh, come <laughs> on. I don't even know my own. Okay. I know New that Brunswick, there are, New Brunswick there are is groups. also bilingual. They're bilingual, but like, I still think their primary language is English. Fun fact, I, my family comes from <laughs> New Brunswick. And that I'm, right. half, I'm actually half French, but I don't speak it because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> You're not you like a Yeah, really AOC is cool. That, uh, New Brunswick is the only officially bilingual province. Oh, is it? 
Wow, learn, learn something new every day. There you go. This is called edutainment. I learned the other day. Edutainment? Yeah, you do a it's lot when... of history things on your on your stream, right? You like really deep dive deep into into history and everything. Most of the time, but um, most of the time I'm just messing around. <laughs> is that how long ago did you start streaming, Sophie? Uh, it was like a probably just over a year ago. Yeah, I like, but then like full time probably in the start of this year. You're yeah, what about you guys? You, you full-time stream now, like officially? I would say that it's full-time streaming because um, I stream like five days a week, but I do have another job as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe full-time stream for streamers means like that's the only thing that you do maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah that's, yeah, that's kind of how I took it out. I was like, wow, that's like, yeah. that's impressive. Like within yeah. a year, no, my main <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I have noticed or I have noticed you have grown at a pretty significant rate. I think you fit a very oh. good niche to fit, fitting that like history, the historical uh, aspect to it. I think it's really cool. If you guys haven't checked Thank out you. Sophie Quests, go check her out. She's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Dab, dab, dab. Oh wait, dab. You have to, you have to follow. If a streamer dubs, you have to follow them because <laughs> you're just missing out on quality content surrounding putting your face in your elbow. So. <laughs> you mean sneezing? True. Or sneezing? Yeah. Ask, ask Sophie about the 300 million cow pats a day. Oh my gosh. 300 right, million well, cow pats? Yeah. What? In Australia, like because we have like a cattle industry, like a huge one, um, they were having issues with how many poos the cows are doing <laughs> each day. So there's, they approximated like 300 million cow pats were made a day. And these like cow patties, they last <laughs> for like Pat patties, like turds, like. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, like turds. Oh. <laughs> they last no. a long time. Like they like um, become really, really hard and just like that. I've I've seen it firsthand. They're everywhere. Um, but uh, yeah, so they introduced like forty species of dung, like dung beetles, and and that to like control the amount of patties that were what uh, being, like, <laughs> spread. Through like northern australia just to get it un under control and like stop disease and and all that so yeah we had that as like an investigation the other day it was very interesting all okay, right now sorry uh, now i gotta know also you keep, like just talk like play and talk it's fine uh, like how what's the weirdest thing you've investigated on stream <laughs> go, there's some go into, go into detail i don't care <laughs> okay Wait, I might need, uh, I think my community are here. They might need to remind me of like the weirdest thing that I've investigated. There's a lot of weird things, but okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll leave it up to your to your community to remind yeah. you and then you can go into detail. How about that? Okay, that, sounds, right. that sounds good. <laughs> okay. Skull this whistle. Skull whistle. Okay, skull whistle is like, um, I believe it was Aztec whistle that they would uh, they don't know necessarily its entire use, but I think they they would have used it in like ceremonies or rituals of sacrificing humans, um, and it was meant to like um, emanate the sound of someone like uh, screaming. <laughs> it's really messed up sound if you ever get to listen to it, um, but it's like um, a call to the dead, kind of like a. I don't know, like a siren song almost. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's super freaky and weird, but culture. That's where it's at. I think the turn <laughs> thing's a little bit weirder than the person <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, true. Like whenever you, when I hear Aztecs and sacrifice, it's like, yeah, okay. Like, already, like you know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, that's that was just normal. Like, that. whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. It may yeah. be a weird sound, but like I wouldn't think that's like the weirdest thing until I hear the sound, I guess. Then I'd be like, whoa. So it's like I'm a little out of context. Yeah. yeah. I then, mean, yeah, it's not it's not unexpected. I mean, it's yeah, 
It's expected. <laughs> like a death whistle. <laughs> Those were the weirdest uh, words in the same sentence. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but also, like, did you know that, you know how that, anyway, I'm sorry for talking so much. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We're here to have a conversation. We're here to have conversations. Okay, fine. You know how they had, like, a ball game in, like, in uh, Mesoamerica, and it was literally called ball game? Uh, yeah, I think they actually, oh, my God. Est Whoa, buddy, get out of my oh. land. <laughs> mate, I'm just trying to find some land, right? Mate, no, your you're land's not here, me? mate. <laughs> Melanda, wait. Um. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, the ball, ball game. Um, the, I think yeah. they actually pay homage to this in this game. It's it's the it's the arena that the Aztec have replaced. It's, yeah, just, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, they had it in like the religious um sector where they would have these arenas. And uh, the reason why they're in like the religious part of town is because the losing team would be sacrificed. I thought they played with like a human head as well for a ball or something like that. Did oh, did they? Maybe that's not. cool. That sounds that sounds don't, pretty Aztec, don't. right? Maybe that's a dodgeball yeah. reference, and it's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be also be like, um, kind of like a myth because it it fits. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Somebody linked a death whistle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you want to listen to the death whistle, you can. <laughs> Watch that, but it's the literally a person go. screaming. <laughs> Australia? Oh, Sophie, Sophie. What, what, what? I see you. Hi. <laughs> Don't be looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. Is that, is that real? Uh, yeah, is, is that yes. scream real? <laughs> That's the real sound. Jesus. Yeah, yeah it's... Uh... It's gonna haunt my dreams for the next uh, couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome. That was my life for like <clears throat> a few weeks after that. Because now um, I also just remember that legend of that crystal skull. Is that a, like that's a movie? It. That's a oh, movie the crystal skull. There's an actual yes. crystal skull, though. Oh, is there? Is there? Oh, there's yeah. a real. Is it also linked to aliens? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> But they found it's like quartz, and they, um, I don't think it was actually from the Aztecs though, but it's it's in Mesoamerica. And it's got like, it's like a haunted, it's more like it's uh, associated with like being haunted as opposed to aliens. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard about those too. <laughs> and I heard that, that there's, a, there's a myth that if you touch it, you will have the memories of every single person that you've touched throughout your life. The, the I touched or that has touched the that thing? you have touched the personally. Have touched. If you've touched like another human being in your life, if you touch this crystal skull, you will have and know the memories of every single person you've touched in your life. Oh my God. What? It's not true. <laughs> it's probably, it's definitely not true because imagine. I'm just imagining how it though. Like, like imagine a movie that was based upon that concept. You know what I mean? And like oh, that'd you be had so to like, cool, right? But then it'd be so over. How would you depict that? How would you show like just memories flooding in? Like, bleh. <laughs> bleh. a whole bunch of uh, really really quick flash montages. <laughs> just a bunch of YouTube <laughs> Call of Duty montages. Ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah. SG, I want to get into you a little bit before we kind of like go into this the history conversation. When did you when did you start streaming? Uh, two and a half months ago. Two and oh, a half what? months wow. ago. January twenty second. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh little baby. I'm a, yeah, I'm a little new baby. I'm a new that's... streamer. What? Uh, oh, that's what awesome. Got into, what got you into streaming? Um. Oh well, I I just finished studying. Um. So I was studying network engineering. So I've been working in IT for like the last, I don't know, six or seven years. So I went and uh, 
studied network engineering and then when i finished that course it was um i don't know i didn't want to go back to work so i was just like i'm just gonna start streaming and that's pretty much all i do now <laughs> but I'm, so I'm, inspirational like, oh my god yeah, no. <laughs> Nah, I just genuinely enjoy playing games more than anything else. So, like, I don't find work particularly uh, fun for the most part. And uh, my girlfriend <laughs> puts up with me, like, literally going to jobs. And I'll work at a job for, like, two years, get a whole bunch of money, and just save up so that I can just take the time off. And then I'll take, like, six months to a year off working and then repeat the process again. Really? Yeah. What? Mm. So you're like, yeah. a live you're like a nomad, almost. But instead of like moving in different places, you move to different jobs and then just live. I am smart. Yeah, pretty much. S -M -R -T. Pretty much. I mean, S -M -A -R -T. I have like really, really low cost of living expenses because I don't buy things ever because I'm really, really, really cheap. <laughs> oh, you're coming into streaming. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that can no, be. Well, it's different when it comes to games, but like with like actual yeah, it's real really life true. stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's true. This is a necessity that we we have to pour our money into. But um, but yeah, I started streaming a couple of months ago. I was playing the forest to begin with, and then I was trying to do this ridiculous. I was trying to do a one life challenge on the forest, mm -hmm. um, on oh hardcore God. mode, and it's it was impossible. I gave up, and then one day I was just like, you know, I'm gonna go play some Civ because Civ is like my relaxing game. Yeah. Um, and then I haven't stopped playing Civ since then, so. Yeah. So when we, we raided you, that was yeah. like your second month of streaming ever? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wow. It's very unexpected. Wow. That's so awesome. That's why, like, uh, that's why I visited you. I was like, I, I don't really know anybody's names around here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 I've just started. No, no worries, man. I mean, the, the Civ community is also just new. It's like we've only been together, I think, for less than a year as well. I think mm. after the new Frontier Pass came out last March, that's when I think everyone started to kind of get back into civilization. And so everyone who started streaming civilization started to kind of get to know each other. We, 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 we stopped in each other's streams. Now we kind of know each other like we're all friends. It's kind of awesome. But I mean, we're not, it's not like we've been friends for years and years and years and it's like a totally closed community. No, like, come on welcome in welcome in you know plenty of room for Thank everybody you. sophie who plays civ fun. every like once a week maybe she's in the yeah. community <laughs> you can get yeah, I'm in the community. yeah we raid her uh <laughs> like, post raids her a lot of people raid her man yeah raiding people be raided <laughs> sorry but yeah that's so awesome good luck with your stream yeah, dude. I th like I came out of uh, university as well and went straight into streaming. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. It's awesome that you're like doing this right now. Like when I was two months into my streaming diff, um, I didn't have connections like this. So good luck. Yes, I'm very very lucky. Thanks, Moy. Yeah. <laughs> For randomly kicking my stream, mispronouncing my name, and then getting hey, clarified, hey. and then coming in here and mispronouncing it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, nami, 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 nami. That's not right. Yeah, that's good. Namine. That's good enough. That's no, 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 um how the next person's gonna say my name there's been one person so far that's managed to get my name right and that was literally because they play kingdom hearts um so they knew the character every oh, other nice. person says uh in anime or namin because it's the only word i recognize in your entire name is just anime so i'm like all right i'm just gonna go with it you're gonna be there's, anime there you there's no actual there's no actual anime in my name uh you you hi, you capitalize S G N and then the only thing left is anime. No no, it's A M I N E. A What? <laughs> oh my god, it's a me Oh Jesus Christ <laughs> Did I spell your name wrong on the stream too? Oh no, wait a minute. 
Oh my god, I did! Oh no! No! <laughs> I did! <laughs> 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 don't talk to me, Nostag. Don't, don't. It's alright, guys. We've only been talking for like three or four weeks now. It's really hard for them to see my name. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Guys, I can't find a place to sit away. Are you not um, settled in your city yet? Come by? <laughs> no. I, like, come by I chose to go. Area. Well, I tried doing that, and then I had uh, I had some Cree yelling at me to get away, so <laughs> I left. <laughs> is Sophie that close to me? Everybody's no pulling you. I have up quite a few uh, barbarians. <laughs> Do you? You ran into it before, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I, I ran into her warrior. Her warrior is right beside me. So am I on a kind of by myself? Him. You are. Right? You are. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna oh right. Time to Canada it <gasps> up in on my own continent. <laughs> my gosh. Canada. I mean, I've got an ocean to myself, so I'm pretty happy. I've got the Great Barrier Reef not right next to me. Wow, so fitting. So fitting. I know. <laughs> it's like they know. It's like they know I'm playing Australia. <laughs> You can put a campus next to that now. It's a plus. It's plus four campus. Actually, that campus for Australia is massive. That's like a plus seven campus if you put it there, right next to the Barrier Reef. Really? Oh yeah, because yeah. of the appeal as well. Appeal. So that's plus three because it's breathtaking appeal, and then wow. it's next to yeah. a reef. It's next to two reefs. And that's another plus so, four. So you get plus seven. Jeez. Okay. This so is the stuff that, that I need to learn. Save that okay. spot for, for a campus. universe. Campus. 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 I mean, who doesn't want a campus right next to the Great Barrier Reef? Get to study all the marine biology, man. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh, so many marine biologists in Australia. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a marine biologist. Oh, of course you are. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Hey, Molly, didn't you win your, like, recon only with the Cree? No, with uh, Inca, with Inca. Oh, Inca. Oh, okay, I was like, I thought it was someone who had a special like scout unit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd have to get like super lucky to win with the Cree. People were suggesting it, like, be the Cree. You know, you get this early recon unit, you can level it up. I'm like, yeah, that's great yeah. and all, but like, once it's it goes early, into though. not the that unit, like, how good is it really gonna be? Probably not mm. very. Oh, I'm just gonna kill people with basically warriors. I'm like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> Boo -doo -doo. I wanted to do that challenge, but um, when I finished my last game, because I was doing, um, I was doing, I was trying to win the game with every single Civ on Duty. Yep. yep. And when I finished the last game, which was Jaya, oh, fuck. No, I might be game overing myself right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I happened? finally okay. I, I finally landed on land. Couldn't see anything. I landed on land, and there's barbarians right there. <laughs> is this an AI? Is an AI playing Maori right now? <laughs> Are you a bot? Come to how did this happen? <laughs> You're a bot, like legit. I'm actually... <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> no, okay, okay. you can't die. There's no post. No, I'm definitely dead. I'm so dead. You need me? Where I'm are you? No, 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 no. Uh, Unless the barbarians like literally have a brain fart, I'm gonna die. Oh my, oh my god! If we have to restart. <laughs> Alright, oh. dead. Oh, dead. Oh my god, he died. <laughs> Bro, wait, Coupe, why did you do this to me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you were wandering around for 19 turns. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Oh I guess we god. I guess we gotta restart. Cause I'm we're so early sorry. in the night here, so uh... 
Yeah, uh, yeah. So let's do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, game one goes to okay. Canada. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I went left at the beginning of the game, and I got to the bottom of your guys' continent, and that was filled with barbarians. So I sailed upwards, and then you were there. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna have to go back to the right side. And I go to the right side. I see nothing. I land, and right there is a barbarian. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, well, it's we'll no turn forty. Settle for a city like in uh, Van Bradley's. <laughs> wow. I mean, All that right, was the risk the... people took back in back in that time. Let's yep. get another map going. Do you want to play Archipelago, maybe? <laughs> Make it a little easier? No, 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 <laughs> Yeah, no, no. we'll play Archipelago. We'll play Archipelago. Oh, God. Oh, that was bad. And that Oceana was, was never on the same show again. Sushi, like <laughs> <laughs> that was a warm-up game, so that we could get used to the mechanics of multiplayer, right? Oh, my gosh, bro. You are something else. <laughs> I thought you were a good player. Like, what happened, huh? <laughs> Why Look, won't they, let, was, me select, they was... won't let me select a tiny map for some reason? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Archipelago? Because tiny. Oh, is it? Isn't... Yeah, is it only in smaller or, uh, or larger than that? Is it really? Uh, let me try just... again. If you can, then I just pick small. Oh. Like, that's fine. Oh, my game is. That's why it's glitching. Sorry, <laughs> it won't let me pick anything. Let me just uh, get out and go back in. All right, no worries. No worries. Why don't we? Why don't we ask? I'm gonna put you on the spot here, Sophie. Yeah. Why don't we ask for a random historical fact? What was the last thing you learned? Oh, ever? the last thing. Doesn't have to be about history. That... Just anything. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The last thing that I learned, I was looking at Ikebana yesterday. The the what? the. It's like a it's like a floral design in Japan. Okay. They yeah, and it was like it reached its like zenith in the 16th century, <laughs> and it was like made popular by Buddhist tea monks. There you go, and they would arrange flowers as like a certain art. There you go. <laughs> you asked for my last thing. No, no, no. I'm just I'm amazed exactly at your what full, it was. <laughs> I'm amazed at your full facts. I said I can actually put you on the spot, and that you actually came through with that. I'm impressed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. But also, okay, I'm bleeding, last... so I'm just looking down. So learned. Sorry? What was the last thing that all three of you learned? <sighs> last thing I learned, um, mm. you can still plant moldy bulbs and they're not dead. Oh, nice. Yeah, because we left our flower bulbs in a not cold room. And so it was pretty hot. So it started sprouting. And we didn't know until today. So it started sprouting. And then since it was started sprouting, the roots came out and it, it was trying to like get water. So it's exploded and it was all dry and moldy. But if you Google it, you can still plant them. It's still they good. might survive. Yeah. They might survive. So I'm a very poor gardener, but that was the last thing I learned. That was today. That's good. That's like practical. Is it? Is gardening practical? practical? Is it really? Yeah. If the world ceases to provide to you, then you can provide for yourself. <laughs> no, I'm, that doesn't not, make I'm sense. not planting like vegetables. These are like lilies. I'm planting lilies. And like... Yeah, but then you can sell those lilies. If the economy does like fail, you can sell oh, yeah. the lilies. Because off. that's the first thing people are going to buy if the economy fails. <laughs> hey, can I come to you and buy lilies? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be yeah, that's a very useful skill. <laughs> not, not with that attitude, boy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta sell it better than that. <laughs> hey, I know you're looking real down right now because the economy's got you on a, on the bad end. But you know what makes you and anybody feel significantly better? Flowers, but not just any flower, specifically the lilies. Did you know that lilies actually give you 50% more happiness than not having lilies? It's an incredible stat. I looked it up the other day. Insane. See, you've got it. You're prepping for the future. I love this. I'm good. <laughs> Who am I playing? It? Pound maker. Pound maker. Pound maker. P p p p p p p p p. There we go. Okay. Hey SG, do we got to give you a little bit of a little bit of help too? Do we need to put you on our? No 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 no. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I just uh, need to choose my directions better or something. Fuck, I don't know. I got I got lost. I'm not very good at reading maps. So you can probably put mine down a bit. 
if anything. No. Cause, okay, fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> fine. I'm we didn't put you the, it it's not the hardest thing. It's not the hardest thing. Uh, you're, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. Okay, good. Good. If uh, if it was deity, I would I would I would debate it. Do you pronounce it deity or deity? I need to know. Deity. Um, uh, deity, deity? but it it can be pronounced both ways. I know, but I get yelled at for pronouncing it deity from De all of the deity. chat. Deity. I don't know. I thought deity. you guys were making fun of me for the way I said it. No, Sharp Sharpster makes fun of me every day. Every day it comes hounding in here. It's deity. I'm like, no, it's not. It's deity. Then I learned it was both ways, but <laughs> whatever. To me, it's deity. I think I was deity. I used to say deity, and I think I got corrected by someone into saying. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, like think about if you want to. Do you want to deify somebody, or do you want to deify them? I don't even know what that Ooh. word means, so that doesn't <laughs> yeah. really didn't help I me do. at all. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a common thing that you think about? Like, oh, I'm gonna deify yeah. this person. I'm gonna deify this person myself. <laughs> so um, if you okay. pick uh, difficulty, is oh, it data um, or data? Tasty in the uh, chat asking the true questions. Is it data or data? Data. Oh. Data. Data. It honestly depends on the sentence data. for me. I'll say both. Data when you're talking about the thing. Data when you're talking about the character from Star Trek. Yeah, and that's yeah it's, it's definitely that. data in, in Star Trek, but it's data. Data. In Star Trek. data. GIF or GIF? Oh my god, GIF! Oh my god, what? So supposedly oh, yeah. it's actually it's GIF actually thing. supposed to be oh. GIF according to the creator of the format. Yeah, However, no, no, and that's great. It stands for graphical whatever else, so it's clearly got a hard G, and the guy's been wrong. Water. The guy made a mistake. A Let's be real. I, I agree, but it's also like, people also say buoy instead of Bowie. Because what about what about buoyancy? Since we've got um, Oceania people in here and we've got Americans in here, aluminum or aluminium? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, bold move, Cotton. Bold move. Hey, hey. Technically both uh, are right. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, we're back in the game. Here we go. Oh, what the heck? Oh, look at this spot! Oh. <laughs> what? Aluminum. Oh my gosh. Aluminium. Aluminium. They're Aluminium. spelled differently, though. They are I spelled differently. I think they're different things, right? No, it's I think it's spelled amantium. Not... <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> the, um, the person that discovered aluminium uh, named it alu aluminum. But oh really? The science community rejected that because everything else ended up with like I M, uh, I U M. So they switched it to aluminium. Now I'm getting confused between the two. <laughs> SG coming in with the facts. Okay. No, where I where do are facts. you, Canada? I like facts. I like ah. facts. We're just learning today. So we actually uh, spawned close to each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty close to me. Decently close to me. I think Let's I'm gonna settle uh, like the second I find anything this time. Yeah, we're, we're playing Archipelago now, so it's a little <laughs> bit, you have a little bit more space, right? Okay. Don't need to do a 19 uh, turn settle. Oh, 19 man. turn capture, what do you mean? If, if you go back, <laughs> at, yeah. If you go back and look at it, the entire right side of that island was just, there was two city states, Moy, and then Moy's units on that side of the island and I couldn't get to the other side. You know what it sounds really like, SG? Um, Two things. Civilization. <laughs> Not quite. One, a you problem. Two, oh. excuses. <laughs> I mean, it's probably an excuse, let's be real. Um, but <laughs> You didn't have it's a good to listen. One. You could have just settled right next to me, like, bro deal with it you know what i mean like you could've yeah you could have you could like this is oh, my heart okay so the um where you saw me that was there was like a two tile space where i could settle there because of the city state as well oh, oh it yeah. was just high above your guys so if i said if i landed you would have taken my settler before i could settle <laughs> <laughs> oh just like the barbarians did then yeah exactly oh loving the moist smack talk always always 
That's right. He's just talking shit right now. You'll get the question marks later. Okay. Okay. Uh, who was it? Who did it? Emo? Huh? Hey, hey, uh, you watch it. You? <laughs> I didn't watch it, but I saw tweets about it. Oh, yeah. As soon as, as soon as he did that, it was like a million tweets. It blew up. It was really funny. I rate that question mark a 10 out of 10. Dota references, by the way, if you guys don't understand. Yeah, sorry, guys. Dota is a, a video, is a game. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> you said who. I thought I heard who, and I was like, no, oh, it's I not said who. I said oh. Is it A game or is it D game? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I talk a lot of shit, but I also do dumb things, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> it makes up for it. <laughs> Where to do this? Yeah. I, uh, I natural wonder spawned again. Did you nice. really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> this is a BBS wonder. Oh, Very is nice. it? Um, yeah. Maybe I had it turned on. It's okay. Plus what one production BBS? and plus three gold. Better balanced start. So, uh, generally, when you spawn, it's like completely random. But with BBS, it makes sure that everybody's spawn is relatively even. Okay. What would be the full spelling of Dota? What? <laughs> what is going on in the chat right now? What is happening? What, is, what does that mean? Uh, what is Dota? Who is Dota? Why is Dota? Where is Dota? Who is, oh my God. Who is Gamora? Oh my god, I thought this was... I thought this was, uh... Australia, but it's not. It's a city-state. Big Ed's, thank you for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome on in, everybody. Big Ed's neck. Is that a no-neck Ed reference? Yes. Yes. What's wrong with Big Ed's neck? I mean, that's... No. It's not no neck Ed, okay? It's okay. I recognize that... <laughs> I recognize that right up. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, they're a bit, bit of trouble. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. They're not trouble, but it, yeah. Where am I? You found me. Big Ed's neck is here. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> do you guys know Big Ed's? Big Ed? I know no neck Ed. Yeah. Yeah. The Big... guy from like that TLC show, the, what is it? 30, yes. 30 Day Fiance, I think it is or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. So so funny, so, so funny. terrible. He's such so a terrible funny. person. I'm sorry. I hate him, but I love him. I hate him. <laughs> um. Well, the only uh, weird side to this uh, uh, archipelago map is uh, it didn't spawn near any tundra. So you don't need it. Canada doesn't need it. You're not Russia. It's fine. What does Canada get for tundra? I can't even remember what they do. Um. We can farm it, um, and that's where you have to build like hockey rinks and stuff. Oh. We're not going to get to hockey rinks anyway, so no worries. Not with well, that. Well, good news is Hokianga <laughs> Nui Akupe has been founded this time, so oh, yeah, last longer than the last one. Oh, I see it. I see you. <clears throat> I literally just said it on the first piece of thing that I saw this time. <laughs> Big Ed is from my hometown and tried to marry my people. <laughs> what? Oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Our condolences. <laughs> hey, he's a legend though. So. Oh yeah. I, I did actually watch one of his mukbangs yesterday. <laughs> Wait, he has like a YouTube? Yeah, he does. He does <gasps> mu mukbang. And it's amazing. He oh. gives like relationship advice as well, which he is gives terrible. Relationship but... advice. Oh, yes. oh my god, no neck ad gives relationship advice. <laughs> Always make <laughs> Oh no, I'm not gonna say it in my <laughs> Wait, so what is he from? I have no idea what this is. Uh he's uh 
He's from Los Angeles, I'm pretty sure. He's like no, um, a... He's a reality TV show star. Mm. That got famous from that, I think. Yeah, yeah. So he appeared on 30 Day Fiance. And yes. he traveled to the Philippines uh, to meet the, his fiance's family. And he's like this big dude, like probably 400 pounds, like five foot two. And like literally he his neck doesn't exist because of where his shoulders begin and where his head oh is, God. is just one continuous like blob of man. <laughs> so he's called No Neck Ed. Fair enough. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is real. This is a real person, know. you know. I know it's a real person. <laughs> but then you finally found his neck because he just raided. Oh yeah, there's his neck. His neck is actually exactly. hidden in the in the depths of Twitch. He's yet to find it. <laughs> That's why he can't find it. Blob of man. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is absolutely dude, look Juggernaut. him up. Look him up. I swear to God. <laughs> No neck Ed. It's all you gotta say. All you gotta like do, and like you'll find it. Actually, yeah. I, f I found him because Ooh. of PewDiePie. PewDiePie was the one who introduced me to that like series. Oh really? Yeah, because he was covering it. He was like watching every episode and reacting to it. Mm -hmm. That's how I knew about it. I think that's how a majority of people probably know about it. Oh I... wow, he actually has no neck. Yeah. Do... <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> It looks like a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be looking at someone and laughing at them. Um. No, dude. It, like, yeah, for real. He exists. He's a person. He's no neck head. <laughs> that seems um, insane. Oh, okay. Next turn, I guess. How do I chat to my um my teammate? On the left side, Nominate. you can yeah. You can, on the left side, just a little drop down, just click it, and then you can hit mm -hmm. to team. Then you can just type. So like in this chat box, <laughs> he looks like a thumb. Yeah, that's that's like dead dead oh. on description. Hello, hello. Okay, how do I do a private chat? <laughs> To, to team is basically a private chat because you're talking yeah, to so your team. You. Oh, okay. I saw yours though, my source. Yeah, because I, I said it to everybody. I was just showing everybody where oh, it was. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's can blue. You... If it's blue, it's to everyone. If it's okay. green, it's to team. That's okay. to everyone. Hashtag team. I mean, slash team to talk to you or? Uh, where you're typing, if you press the uh, down arrow on the right hand yeah. side. Uh huh. It's, it's a little drop down. Then it should have an option for two team. Oh, yes. Okay, got it. And then I'll have a green flag on the left-hand side of that. Okay, 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 okay. I had to check if right. slash teamwork because that would have been genius, but nope. That's weird that it doesn't. It's, it's not oh. World of Warcraft. Hey, bio. <laughs> oh, SG, you know how you said that you, whenever you have a competition of like how the next person's going to pronounce your name? Do you have my chat? Do yeah. you have the chat open right now? Yeah. Oh. The, the, do you have the chat open right now? Yeah. 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The guy who said hello, hello, hello. Pronounce that name. Oh, I remember. I remember you having trouble with this. Uh, in the what, was it, what stream was that? Uh, Doesn't matter. I Pronounce the name. I for. <laughs> I for. <laughs> I Sorry. That's what I'd say. Iphigenia. Iphigenia? That's actually pretty good. Okay, I think that's right. Damn it. I did hear you try it like seven times though, so... Dude, I am the worst. The and worst. then give up and be like, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people you know come I'm up with me? I don't understand. <laughs> That happens to me all the time. Don't even be worried about that. Why this kid to me and use my name to try to oh, I'm so someone. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll use Jenny and use my name to. Oh sorry. no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no! Genuine sorry. There's an app for that. If you're ever interested, you can get it for your Twitch chat, so people can assign themselves their genders, and you'll see the gender next to their name. Really? If you wanted that. You, yeah. I think if it's you need add-on. Oh. It's like an add-on, yeah, that you can get I for your browser. Oh, um yeah okay yeah, i yeah. saw some people yeah, have that i was wondering why like how i like did twitch implement this natively okay so now i understand oh, yeah, it's like a browser thing i think is it wrong just that's that's kind of what i do <laughs> so like you know i'm sorry if it oh yeah i assume wrong. all of my viewers are men and it's bad i shouldn't do that <laughs> well when 90 percent of the platform is men <laughs> It's a little like you get used to it, you know. True. Yeah. It's like okay, let's 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 let's, let's statistically break this down. You say that though, but you've got at least two females in your chat right now. Three, if we yeah. include Sophie, assuming she's watching the stream. Yeah, well. I'm here. Okay. Okay. I'm in the so, chat. Again, let's That's a pretty big break percentage. this down. Let's statistically break this down. Okay. So That's I like can five actually, percent of your viewers. Right I can now. go into. I can go into uh, our podcast stats or the Twitch stats or whatever. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It'll be like 97% male and like 3% female. Wow, yeah. I mean, I guess it comes with the, like, not necessarily saying that this is, like, true, but a lot of females don't play. I don't know. Like, they don't, they're not drawn to civilization. I don't yeah, that's know. probably right. But they should be because it's heckin' cool and you get to play as like awesome female leaders. Yeah. Uh, Queen Chi is is a member in the community, female member of the yeah, community Queen from the Chi. Philippines. Yeah, she's really cool. And she'll like, she's like, from Women's Day, I'm gonna have like a challenge where you have to play as all the women. I thought, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, you should do that. I'd be heckin', heckin', interested. Heckin'. You hosted heckin. something like that. Heckin. Wow. Heckin. You're trying well, to be PG first. You'd be heckin interested. Wow. Heckin interested. Yeah, it's just Nistang was streamed on International Women's Day, and he did that. He did, like... Oh, oh no. Nice. Yeah. I'm not going to talk for you. you. You could say it. Well, no, I, I just did an all-women uh, leader, and then I um, was just I random, am but uh, I got Nubia. So, Amante. I mean, oh, you're lucky. I oh, love Nubia. Nubia. Yeah, she's it's like my favorite pop. Civ in this game. Oh, and Nubia? return to game. Really? Why am I exiting? Yeah, although I haven't played it since the old versions of Civs where the um, archers actually did more damage to walls and stuff. So she might not be as fun now. Uh, she's still very good. But... Yeah, those archers are, are really good. I, yeah. I was uh, happy I had them, especially against the computer that all declared war on me. So. <laughs> I'm just reading chat. I'm having a good time right now. It's funny. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, just let's keep it PG, guys. So SG drops already five f bombs, and Sophie's hitting us with heckin'. <laughs> Heck yeah, I bud. Was, yeah, I told you I would swear today. Heckin'. Wait, did I swear? When did I swear? <laughs> no. When you lost. I didn't even sir. notice. I didn't even notice. <sighs> Is that like part like? legitimately part of like your culture or is that just like a yeah. meme like a stereotype no nah, no nah, it's legitimately a thing uh, i'm assuming it is in australia as well yeah i mean it's just like yeah and part of the culture yeah so then do you like have swear words per se like they're just word are they just words to you yeah or it's just fun. it's like a little bit of spice on the on the nice a little bit of spice. <laughs> that's good okay <laughs> Well, the F word is like the most versatile word in the world, right? Like you can use it for anything. It's true. It literally yeah. fits in every single sentence. It's a verb. It's an attitude. Just, it's a yeah. noun. Hey, it's, it's, it's almost everything. like uh, Canadians A. Oh, oh my hey. gosh. People in A everywhere. Wow. It's like what? a spectrometer <laughs> word. Like you can use it in almost any context. A? A? Yeah. A? I am, I am A hungry. One, right? A. I'm so, so A hungry right now. Yeah. Oh, God. It's usually at the end of a sentence. <laughs> yeah, it's at the end uh, of a sentence. <laughs> yeah, I'm you don't so usually. Hungry, eh? so you say like, I'm, I'm pretty uh, hungry right yeah, now. Yeah, eh? see. How's it going? Yeah. How's it going, eh? So we have as instead uh, in New Zealand. So I'm I'm hungry as. Oh yeah, as. I'm, that's I'm right. this as. I'm that as. 
Sweet. Just A S. That's it. So that's what yeah. you, were, yeah. you were telling me. Yeah. Like as what did you say? As as in or as cool or like? Oh, I said sweet as. Yeah. Sweet yeah, as when it. I replied to something that I was like, oh wait, is that a New Zealand idiom? I'm like ah, I mean yeah. cool. I mean cool. For, for like a a quick second, I thought you're you said I had a sweet ass. I'm like okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm like, so I'm sweet. That. Sweet we <laughs> but, use like, literally all that. the time here. Um, <laughs> you can even say sweet in like business calls and stuff, and like people don't think it's weird. Yeah, sweet. Like it's a genuinely normal piece of language that we use. Mm -hmm. Huh. I use mm. cool a lot in business, but I'm also not cool. the most business person. Yeah, cool. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. I'll talk to like high level people like that. Like I just I don't like, and they kind of I don't know why that they kind of like it. It's like they they enjoy that. I don't like yeah, treat them like different differently than I would just like a buddy. And I think yeah. like I've gotten like pretty good responses from it every time. Like they always like come to me like, hey man, what's up? How's it going? I don't know. That's I'm good. weird. Yeah, we we put so many masks on every day. It's like nice to have someone just like treat you like a friend or a buddy. Yeah. It's a good way. I am smart. <laughs> but coming out of academia, like a hundred percent, like you had to like think about every conversation you would have with like maybe like a professor or something or like your head teacher or whatever. Mm -hmm. And every conversation was like, holy fuck, I have to sound so smart when I talk to them, even though I want to be like, oh, hey, how's it going? You heckin' bean? Let's, <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this complex topic. <laughs> you heckin' so, bean? Yeah. yeah. I don't actually talk like that. I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly making fun of myself. Okay. <clears throat> winning the game. I gotta get back to winning the game. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, you gotta you gotta carry me. Clearly I'm just terrible at this. <laughs> no, so you're not. Okay. Mm. You holy heckin' bean. Hey, how's it going, <laughs> heckin' bean? Heckin yeah, heck and bean. Yeah, holy heck and bean. Wow. Man, your chat's ruthless. You say one thing and they're just like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I don't even know. I don't think I've seen Regards Alex before. So oh, no, just... sorry. That's that's from my chat. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, same just with, like, same, same with Casey. They're dare... really quick to jump on you. <laughs> if you make <laughs> any mean, kind I of mistakes, it. they'll jump on you straight away. <laughs> that's okay. It's all good for my end, man. Dude, I will, I will just, I will, I make fun of everybody. I, I tease everybody. <laughs> I once, oh, I, this is a kind of a weird story. So okay. uh, I was, I was, in, I was at work and, um, well, I guess like in my home at work uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. some guy comes in a, in a call at a meeting and he acknowledges the, like one person. He's like, Oh, Hey Bill. Right. And then like, he doesn't say yeah. anything to me. And I was like, Oh wow, yeah! Don't say hi to me there, buddy. You know, and I kind of like laugh oh, yeah. it off, and, I'm, and yeah. I'm, like, I was meant it as a joke. And then afterwards, he's like, "Hey man, like, I'm really sorry. Like I had no idea." I just, <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm like, dude, no!" I'm like, "I was just teasing you." I'm like, "I'm, I'm completely joking. Yeah. I'm sorry." He felt so bad. And he had like a well, we had like a ten minute conversation, but I'm like, "No, dude, it's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot." <laughs> no, but it's um, it's good that you like that. Keep people on their toes. Yeah, exactly. But then all I can think about is, I just said sorry, and he said sorry, and I'm like, wow, we're really Canadian. <laughs> now that is a true stereotype about Canada. Wait, so yeah, you say a boot? Uh, Newfoundland does out east. They say a boot. A boot? A boot? If you if you want to think about like the most stereotypical Canadian accent there is, it's it's um someone from Newfoundland has that accent basically. Oh, I met uh, Sophie. So, yeah, she's oh, trying really? to settle like right near. Yeah, she's trying to settle this place where I just cleared a barb camp. Are you guys on the same continent? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? You are. Uh... Uh -oh. How's that? Yo, how's sweet that ass. Thing? How's that a thing on uh just just chance? Oh that oh, no, I've got people here. 
Is that how you say that? Ar archipelago? Ar archipelago? Is it archipelago? Archipelago. archipelago. It's archipelago. Archipelago. Archipelago? Yeah. yeah. Trying to mess me up, SG. Every, man. Yeah, nah, every time I every time I play on this map, because I did this map obviously for Portugal, because who wouldn't? Oh yeah. Um, yeah I know. But oh, yeah. every time I went to go oh. say the map name and I'm like archipelago, archipelago, archipelago. Oh, I don't know how to say this name. And I couldn't figure it out. And then people were trying to type it out in chat and I'm like, it's just like if you're gonna write the words in chat, like <laughs> it still confuses me, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Archipelago. I can't believe that this can't is on the same continent as me. There you go, belly gamer. <laughs> I read the chat. I knew, I knew that was coming. Yeah, so. I saw that. I, saw, I read it too. Oh my god, I heard it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> Sophie, no. did you do no. that? Did you misclick? No. Oh, no. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> No. It's, like, it's okay. As long as it's not your starting settler, it's fine. Do we? Uh, do you punish? That's a, that's a, that's a question. I know. I I feel like Zoe is yelling in my ear right now. <laughs> Here, how about this? When the next turn happens, close your eyes, count to ten. If it's still there, then you can take it. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's like simultaneous turns, right? Theoretically, you could. Move oh, you could have just put enough. the scout on the settler, and you would have been fine. Oh fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and there it comes all right here we go no my baby wait move it, move it move it move it move Two. it oh, move it move it move it move it oh thank god that was funny <laughs> See this the swear words come out once once things start getting a little heated. I don't know. Heated, <laughs> yes. Tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little nervous, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm rep representing Australia. If I lose, I'll be a national disgrace. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sure Sar Sarge will never talk to you again. Sarge, yeah, will disown me. Did it disown you? He, oh, what? <laughs> he will, yeah, I'm actually his child. <laughs> he is old. Yeah, I, I've heard how old he was. He was an old guy. <laughs> Not as old as Zoe. Zoe was like a grandpa, but Sarge is up there too. That's something, something it will happen to you too. Wait, Sarge can't <laughs> be that old. Seriously? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Okay, how, how, how old are you, SG? How old are you? Uh, I have to actually oh. think about this. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh my 30, god. 30, 33, 34, 33, 34. Okay, I, 33. Think, he's like the, I think he's like the same I age as you. Whoa, that's think. not that old. <laughs> what? 33? That is super yeah. young ish. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been playing this game since Civ 1. That's how fucking yeah, okay, old I am. Yeah, proving like, your point right here, it. buddy. <laughs> I played it when Civ 1 came out. Are you trying to tell yourself that you're old, or are you trying to <laughs> justify that you're not that old? Because it's not really working right now. There's only six games in the series. Final Fantasy is at like 13, 14, 15. 15. Okay, there's six games Therefore, in... It's a... That's great, but yeah. how often does Final Fantasy come out, and how often does Civ come out? <laughs> Look, I don't keep up with like uh, release dates and stuff. I have no idea. All right, so, don't worry, I'll do it let's for you. Say, let's Seth say it's got the average. No, no, it's got. <laughs> let's say it's got an average life cycle of three. You're making me feel like old eight now. Years old. <laughs> <laughs> You're really making me feel old right now. <laughs> Why? How old are you, Nystagmus? Huh? 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 Yeah, tell us your age. Reveal it. Now. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Ah! That's so young. Don't you worry. See? 35? Damn, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, when I'm 35, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be younger than I w was now, I reckon. Like mentally? Like you're just going to act like mentally, a child still? I'm going to yeah. regress. <laughs> you're only as old as you feel. So, yes. if your knees crack, you're old. Damn. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, boy. My you'll hit... 
you hit the H2 and you wake up and you have an ache for no good reason. <laughs> you just like have your joints hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I just like I was like squatting when I was gardening because that's like ground level. I had to squat. I'm sure I'll feel that tomorrow. I'll let you know. Okay. I'm gonna be like, do my yeah. knees and my hips. Oh my god, my hips, <laughs> my back. This day was my back. It hurts. <laughs> Gamers improve one level for every millimeter of hairline that has receded. <laughs> ah, that explains why Zoe is terrible and why I am amazing. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's funny. Is that why you put me on Empress mode? Because <laughs> my hairline has not progressed yet. Wonderful. <laughs> the only good thing about this is that yeah. she can't declare war. She can't surprise war me like Zoe would. Because that's Canada. true. Actually, no you one surprise war her Canada. either. So you couldn't even take her settler. Oh yeah, it's true. Oh, oh. I can oh, I can declare a surprise war, and then you See, can even take in it. the game, man. Mm. Everything about Canada in this game is stereotypical. You have to be nice. You can't steal things. You can't... <laughs> I know. Yeah. What's your favorite? I mean... uh, what's your district? A hockey rink. What's your special unit? <laughs> yeah, a Mountie. Sorry, Thanks, <laughs> guy. A police. That unit, is very yeah. Canadian, isn't it? Literally all I know about Canada, those two. I'm gonna make a mountain like, like a lightness buff. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. How do you feel as an Australian about Australia in Civ Six? Does it represent Australia well? Oh, oh, it's so nat nationalistic, hundred percent. Like the fact that you've got John Curtin led us through World War Two. This is like um, uh, a huge um, pride thing for Australia our um yeah and and for the new zealanders as well like we kind of like um well we have like remembrance day anzac day yeah. every year and it's a huge moment for our country it's pretty much how we like um view ourselves as like the the heroes from from the southern land mass you know coming in and like um giving giving uh europe a hand um but yeah <laughs> So you're like happy you said, with... yeah. I mean, I am I happy with it? It's 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 good. I mean, it like it is it is quintessentially Australian. Um, but it would be good to have like some indigenous um like kind of representation for so in the future. Mm -hmm. Maybe they could do like an indigenous Australian sieve. That would be pretty cool. Um, but this is like yeah, I understand completely why they would have went went this way because yeah. This is yeah the the Australian culture, um, but there's also like I guess you could uh, either expand on John Curtin a bit or um, uh, or introduce an Indigenous Australian culture and um, because John Curtin throughout that time a lot of bad things happened to our native Australians. Right. Um, World War Two, 1940s. People are still uh, like children, and sorry for taking it. This isn't going to be a dark. No, no, no. Note, but I was going to do. I was going to dive deeper into it anyway. So go, you're good. Yeah. The same yeah, can be said about the Canadian still... leader in this game too. Yeah, exactly. You would find it with a lot of the the leaders that there there are like dark pasts and histories associated with them. Um, but yeah, a lot of children were still being um, brought to missionaries and like um, taught. Uh, to forget their cultures or take it away from their families and, and all that. So yeah, there's like a hidden past here, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's my, my view on that. Yes. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, so I know a mm -hmm. little bit about John Curtin. I watched a movie about him called, mm -hmm. I think it was called Curtin. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he gave this huge speech uh during world war ii saying that we cannot help you england anymore we need to pull back our troops and make sure that we protect australia is that right oh really i think so um i've seen several speeches from him but i haven't seen that one i saw the the one with the the threat from japan yeah, um, that, yeah same thing exact same thing is that the same, same one yeah. So oh, the threat from Japan, if Japan takes over the Philippines, Australia is dead. So they yeah. so basically they're like we need to pull back from Europe and we need to protect our land. 
So like the Philippines mm-hmm. and Australia and stuff like that. So, yeah, same thing. Exact same thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm looking at it now. See? Com- I know a bit of history. I do know a bit of history. I love it. Yeah, you started yeah. this off by saying you don't know anything. Yeah, you That's don't know anything know. yet. That is, that is the one thing I know. And the only thing, the only reason I know about it is because I, when I played Australia in, in the Civ show, I did a little yeah. bit of research into who he was nice. as a person, just so that I can have something to come into with conversation. Context. Yeah. Yes. Love it. Sorry, I better um, my bin pick up today. If you can hear that. <laughs> I hear nothing. No, no worries. Okay, good. okay and then let's move on to Maori. Do you feel Maori. like they are well represented in this game? Ah, uh, yeah, pretty good. They're um. They could have gone with an actual Maori leader that existed, probably. But, you know, Kupi's fine. Kupi's a, um, he's like a mythological feature, uh, person that we don't know actually exists or not. Mm-hmm. In, from when the Maori came across from Hawaii, which is where we theoretically came from, um, to find New Zealand. But, um, the actual... The actual abilities and stuff are awesome. Like the Tor having the Hucker, which gives people minus five strength, is really cool. If you haven't watched the Hucker, you can look it. Uh, you can literally YouTube it and just type in like All Blacks Hucker, and you'll see it on there. Um, I've, I've it's seen a the really Hucker. cool little it's... dance. Yeah, you haven't seen the Hucker? I have, I have, I have. It's uh, oh, yeah. I watched like the rugby yeah, team yeah, do yeah. with the All Blacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, you can you can let them know about my video, boy. <laughs> I, I was getting there. I haven't gotten there okay. yet. <laughs> but you can let them know too. Um, uh, but the Marais are also um, pretty well done in this. Marais are really, really, really cool if you haven't seen them before in real life. Um, they're basically like longhouses, and the insides of them are painted with... Um, they like just got multi patterns all up and down the walls, and there's carvings everywhere, and you're not allowed to wear shoes inside or anything <laughs> like that. Um, but yeah, I like the multi I really like them. They're very cool. It's good. And then... Uh, Ms. Tangus, how do you feel about Canada? Oh, yeah, I was going to answer uh, someone in chat. I can't remember who oh, did okay. it. But someone asked me like what I would do for Canada because I was making fun of it instead of... Um, so I get like the idea behind some of the things that are easily recognizable, right? So like when people think of Canada, what do they think, right? Hockey is one of them, right? Mm-hmm. That's just like what people think of when they think Canada. Um, and so... The military unit, I know there's a couple other like folklores that Canada has that you can use. Like you can be one of the few civs that, um, or Canada can be one of the few civs that gets a special airplane unit because we had the Avro Arrow, um, which is like something that's really famous in Canada. It's got like kind of a, um, uh, kind of like a mythological almost feeling to it just because everyone thought it was was, like this thing that was, um, stopped by the Americans because they were jealous of our plane. But um, it's a little more complicated than that. But uh, like we had that plane. Um, we also created like a certain type of siege unit too. Um, not really a new siege unit, but we well, how we utilized it in the First World War. We we uh, created the mm. creeping barrage um, kind of thing. So I don't know. I, I think I think it's just lighthearted. Like I guess how people think about Canada too. So that's why you know, I'm not. I know Zoe makes a big deal about it, but. Um, Good. The I biggest, get why they went. The biggest gripe is just the Mountie. Like, why? Ugh. Imagine, okay, who's like your, your top level uh, police in, in Australia or New Zealand? Police? Yeah, like like FBI, oh. if you're, you know what I mean? Like CIA kind of thing. Your federal police or whatever. Yeah, federal oh. police. Yeah. Um, do we even have those here? I, uh, I mean, I think we have like a state. I mean, I think we have like a oh, a federal police, right? And then we have. Um, oh. Okay, the <laughs> point is. Garlic, garlic bra. The point I didn't know. Is, <laughs> sorry, New Zealand's all one nation, so we don't have like states and stuff. Um, so oh, we okay. don't have any different levels of government or anything. There's just like the police. And yeah. the, the point yeah. is. <laughs> it, the federal police is our unique unit in this game. That's it. It's like, oh come on, man. Yeah. So and 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 uh, I'll give you another perspective, boy. Since you're, you know, we both used to live in Ontario. And, uh, now I'm on the west coast. Sure. The RCMP is like the regular cops on the west coast. Oh yeah, is it really? Oh, because yeah. of all the national parks. 
No, it's just they're the regular cops. Like they're really? they just say that that's their that's their uh, jurisdiction in on the West Coast. Oh. So like it, where yeah. I live right now, the R if I were to call the cops for whatever reason, I would I would the RCMP is who I would call. What? So they're just regular cops? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you have you have you have cops as their unique unit. There you go. You just have cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> They're pretty famous cops, though. Like, to be fair, I, like I know mm. what a Mountie is, all the way on the other side. And, of the world. I, and that's why I, I get know, why they chose it, right? They want people to be like, "Oh, yeah, I know of course, everything. Canada." Mm. Mm. Yeah, we have Aces, which is like an um, like undercover kind of um, cyber warfare terrorism kind of like uh, part of our police yeah, force. It's, uh, ours is called CSIS, ironically. So I guess the only letters, <laughs> the only difference is Canada and Australia. <laughs> yeah, we we have that we have that too. And then uh, America, it's called the IR, not IRS. I'm sorry, um, NSA. Yeah. Oh, they have the CIA and the NSA. Sorry, that is right. We do have the GCSB, but the GCSB isn't the same as like. I suppose it's kind of the same as like the FBI and stuff. That's it's just an intelligence agency. The... That's how we feel about really RCMP, do. man. Yeah, yeah. We do have that. I forgot. Wait. I forget about that. The the C what? <laughs> now I forget. What is it? The CSI? CSIS. What the so, CSIS. I think you did the extra I was oh. accidental. Okay. <laughs> oh, the CIA as well. Wow, they've done some messed up things that I've been learning about. <gasps> Ooh, let's go. Okay. I was learning about the Cuban um Cuban history the other day. And there is a theory that the CIA during like the Soviet, um, like the Cold War period, they spread rumors through a, a radio station in Cuba um, that the Soviets were going to take the children of the, the families there and like um, pretty much train them to be future Soviet soldiers. So they, they like spread this like fear throughout the community. So all these families actually sent their children to America to go live in, um, to go live with like, uh, like Catholic churches or even, um, like in foster homes. And wow. it was like literally planes of, of children that were sent there in, and the CIA had like set this up as like a fear-based strategy to like make sure that there weren't any like Cuban, um, like children going up to like serve, um, I think it was Castro or <clears throat> Chi 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 what yeah. they were trying to do sometimes. Yeah, they would like try and like poison his cigars and yeah, that too. Yeah, uh, I forget. So I think crazy. people in the chat will definitely know. Um, because we have uh, Castro. That. They're saying Castro. Yeah, Castro. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh! Sorry for taking so slow on that. Do you, does anyone know? Like you know the station thing perk. The Outback Station. Does anyone know what? Um... Oh, way later. Yeah, uh, that's way late. Outback like Station. Super late, isn't it? You get it. Uh, oh, you get it. Guilds. At guilds. So it's a civic. So it's in the culture. Okay. Guilds. Got it. Yeah, right above monarchy. So it's actually achievable. Yeah. All right. It's only medieval era. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, Nostanguis, so you got to rename a city to Heck and Bean, by the way. <laughs> Where do I? Yeah. Where did it, it say that? Uh, well, a while ago. I still have it lined up. BFD claimed it. You built Stonehenge? My boy, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I have to name it again? Heck and Bean. <laughs> always like spill the spill the tea on the CIA. Yeah, why not, right? It's something cool to yeah. talk about. 
Yeah, they did Vector Cat. They put LSD in his scuba gear because they and they also um like they made like this fake. I think it was a fake fish or something that was like had explosives and they they like made it look pretty or something and they like put it in his like scuba like place where he would go scuba diving in hopes that he would like oh. blow up. Uh, it was cool, yeah. Uh, uh, it, yeah, you're right. Not nearly the bad stuff that the CIA did, but it's just like the the craziest stuff that they did. Oh, yeah, like, exactly. The really, the really bad stuff was like, you know, organizing coups and stuff. But <laughs> and like got all that experimentation with them, um, LSD and like drugs. They would they created a culture this within the CIA where they would dose each other secretly. Right. Really? So it was kind of like drinking. It was kind of like what you guys do, like hazing in America. It was kind of like that, but in the CIA with LSD. What? Did they just like get people high? Yeah. Yeah. They would like give you like a high time and be like, <laughs> see you on Friday, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then they would like research you as well. When you like read into it, you start thinking that whether or not maybe the FBI actually did have like an actual place like the X Files and like Mulder and Scully yeah. were like an actual thing and the X Files is actually a documentary. Yeah. But... That's true. What don't we know? Production towards or oh, we're turning into a, like a conspiracy <laughs> chat. Is it? They melt in steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's, let's go in, let's go down that hole. No. No. Night, no. 9 11 no. conspiracy. No. No. Just, <laughs> that's where I wanted to start it. That's where I wanted to end it. That you know, like, that was it. That was it. That's a good way of ending a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> no, just gonna assassination by jebation. Nice. Jebated. Debated. <laughs> Joke's on you, Ben. You're gonna be high as fuck all weekend. <laughs> see you in on Monday. <laughs> yeah, <right>? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if you see the aliens. Oh. <laughs> there was a movie called um what was it The Good Shepherd about the founding of the CIA after the Second World War? Mm. That sounds never cool. Seen, never heard of it. There was like a there was like a bridge in Berlin that like a lot of these spies like on opposite sides like met, right? Um, sure. And that's what the game is kind of or the movie's kind of based on. Um, he has like this cat and mouse game he plays with this like Soviet spy from the KGB. Oh. Wait, what movie is this? The Good Shepherd. The Good I think Shepherd. It's called the Good Shepherd. Super good movie says I fin I fid I feed genia. What? <laughs> Where is that? Sorry, can you say that again, but, no. but at a normal speed? <laughs> oh, Iphigenia. 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 Don't yeah. miss me. Yeah, yeah, yeah Iphigenia. Definitely. Stop. Yeah, right. uh, it was with Leonardo DiCaprio. He was the main that character. Was a super good movie. 10% drop. Mm, oh. mm, Iphigenia. Okay. <laughs> Iphigenia. Man, even like my fiance is trying to teach me Serbian and it's just, it's a disaster. It's so, uh, it's, it's so tough. I'm not good. Oh. I, I'm sorry. Like, I'm legitimately really sorry about my incompetence. It's, it's tough. Okay. <laughs> it is hard. Um, you'll like get you just there. struggle with pronouncing other language things in general? Yes, because one, I mumble as it is. So even me like pronunciating English words, some people just don't understand because my mouth doesn't. I, maybe I speak too quickly or just my mouth doesn't move the way I think it moves. And so I just bleh, right. It ends up being mm. just backwash. <laughs> you'll get there. One day. You you've got the rest of your life to learn it. With uh, your well, and you I have mean, your partner to like 
talk to you. That's true. Constantly. Yeah, no, that like, is true. That is true. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I don't know, my memory is really bad. And then, like, also my... I, yeah, I guess just that, that's where kind of where it ends, is that I don't remember how things are pronounced. But even if you tell me once, that's just I don't remember. And it's just not even, like... Like, I'm sorry. I, I have no excuse. There's just no excuse. That's the problem. Yeah, I've got a really bad memory as well. It's a bit of a meme in my channel because I don't use map pins at all. So I'll talk for ages about this, like, great plan that I've got for setting up all my districts. And then literally the next turn I'll ruin it by putting something else there instead. You're pinning your districts and it's not working out? Is that what you said? No, 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 no. I don't use the map pins at all. Why so not? I'll make a plan. Because oh, I don't like using map pins. Um, <laughs> it's just like oh extra God. effort, right? What? Bro. Uh, no. Yeah. The, Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I never use them. Never have. Um, unless somebody pays channel points to make me put one down for some reason. <laughs> and then that just... That tends to just get used to troll me and make me look like an idiot because I've got map pins in stupid places now. Um, but I'll sit there for like five minutes talking about this great plan that I've got for my district. It's like, I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here. Um, but then, because I don't map pin in my memory is garbage. Like literally the next turn, I'll just put something completely different in there and just ruin the whole plan. Okay. You have... Let's, let's make a comparison to this. You have... Uh, you have to put in a nail and a piece of wood, okay? You see two tools on, 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 on the bench. You see a hammer, and you see scissors. Mm. Which do you take? I take the option where I ask my girlfriend to do it, because she's the one that uses tools in my house. Okay. Oh, nice. I do don't do? know how to do can it. I, can, I, can, I, can I make this relatable to you? Do you cook? I play games. You play oh. games. <laughs> and I, you play, and okay. I know things, okay. I know things, about, I know things about the internet. <laughs> Here, here's one. Oh, nice. You have you. You're playing. You're playing in uh, first person shooter, Counter Strike. Right, great game. You have a choice between a optical mouse or a thumb mouse, like a thumb thumbball mouse. Gross. Which do you take? The real mouse, not the fake one. Wow. So you're going to use the right tool for the right job? Yeah. Wow. It's like those pins are there to be a right tool for the right job. Yeah, the, the issue is, right, is that if you take the <laughs> mice away from this equation, you can't play Counter-Strike at all. Whereas if you take the pins out of the equation, I can still play Civ. Yeah, but you just complain about your memory and how bad your memory is and how you have this elaborate plan, <laughs> but you never remember it. So, like, there's a yeah, solution. You're just choosing not to take it. Maybe I'm forgetting the map pins are there because my memory is so bad. Well. Okay, I can't help you there, but... <laughs> I mean... Nah, see, I, when um, when I was learning, um, what do you call it? Whatever it was that I was trained in, in IT, in IT, right? You got the you got the saying, least administrative effort. So you got to do whatever gets you to the end result with as little effort as possible, because shit gets complex <laughs> otherwise, right? So you're if here, I start that... putting if if I start putting down pins, like I'm just gonna get so complicated. But it's the just... pins is less work because you don't have to work on memorizing them, <laughs> right? You ever heard Bill Gates is saying he put the he puts the laziest person on the most complicated job? Yes, yeah, because he'll way find the best way to do it in the simplest mm. manner. Yeah, yeah. It's, so... a, um, it's an actual it's an actual thing they teach in IT quite a lot. You want to find like as little, like as fast a way of doing something as possible. Nobody even knows what IT stands for. <laughs> what? It's an IT crowd reference. Oh. Have you tried turning it off and on again? What's the worst IT I, IT story you've ever had? I I, I always like I love hearing these. Oh, every story is the worst IT story. We used to get... So I, I worked for um, Vodafone for a while, right? Doing basic tech support. And we used to get people sure. call every single day and they'd be like, what the hell is going on? My bill's up to date. I've paid you guys, so I should be able to access my internet. What's going on? I'm like, okay, give me your details. So they give me their details and stuff. They bring up 
you know, I go look at their account, everything's working fine. I'm like, okay, your internet seems to be working. You guys have connection there. Can you just tell me what's going on? Well, I've got on my screen that my com- that it's locked and I need a password. Why have you locked my screen? I'm like, are you looking at a screen with like a picture of your family? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, that's your computer password. Nah, my computer's never had a password before. You guys have done this to me. And I'm like, um. <laughs> but you look. Li- you literally get those calls every single day, every day. Yeah. And this was like, yeah, just be like working what are you at an doing, ISP. Man? You're working at yeah, ISP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, bro. Okay, you win. I don't have like, I've never worked in IT. I'm a programmer. The mm-hmm. worst story I have is that like people think I work in IT. That's it. That, I don't really have much. So you work in IT? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Well, you get it the same way around from here, right? Like, people will call me, not call me, but, like, my friends and stuff will message me with, like, the most random requests, and, like, they'll be like, hey, man, do you know how to, like, uh, code uh, the, because uh, some of my friends are, like, game devs or whatever, and they'll be like, sure. do you know how to code the uh, network interface for the game? And I'm like, no. And they're like, why not? And I'm like, because I'm not a programmer, and they're like, but aren't you doing network engineering? I'm like, yeah, but I'm not doing network engineering for programming. <laughs> like, I have no idea how to read any of the languages you guys are bloody typing in. <laughs> <laughs> IT is like such a broad spectrum word that people use for like everything to do with computers. Yeah. That generally are has you, like nothing to do with anything. Are you like the designated uh, fix, fix all anything to do with any electronic in your family? Yes. Yeah. Which is awesome because my parents don't know how to do anything. They li- they'll literally call me for like the silliest reasons. My mum called me one day to tell me that um, the computer's broken because there was no sound going through it. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, if you look in the bottom right corner, is there is there a sound icon there? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, and it's up. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, can you just click it up and down? So she clicks it up and down. It doesn't make the dinging noise. Um, it makes the dinging noise. I'm like, your sound's working perfectly fine. And she's like, no, it's not working at all. What's going on? And I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like. I'm trying to watch Judge Judy. She loves Judge Judy. She watches it all the time on YouTube, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we're well, watching Judge Judy. She's like, on YouTube. And I'm like, okay. Can you look on the YouTube thing? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, you see where the play button is? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, is there like a little icon there that looks like a volume speaker? She's like, no. There's just a triangle with a cross on it. And I'm like, press that button. <laughs> she presses the, oh, oh, it's working now. Kill her, oh, no. kill her. <laughs> oh my god. She's so happy. I'm like, fuck. Don't call me for this. Don't call me for these <laughs> Oh my gosh. My girlfriend's dad's the same. Like, he's a car salesman. And he'll call me for, like, random things. I don't answer my phone, like, 99% of the time. I'm really bad at answering phones. I, I don't think I understand why. Well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but he tries to call me and I've told my girlfriend before I'm like if he calls you and he wants to talk to me about IT just find out what the issue is first because it's something that you can fix just fix it I don't want to deal with it but I missed like a couple of calls from him like maybe a year ago and um, she messages me and she's like dad's trying to get a hold of you I'm like okay cool and I'm like can you just see what it is so she goes and asks him what it is and it turned out his uh, he'd turned his mouse off and he thought the mouse was broken and I was like, that's not worth my time. Like, please don't call me for things like this. Like, Jesus. Oh, is regards Alex your your girlfriend? Is she? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Oh. Uh, right. Hello. There. Now I she- understand what she's talking. About. Okay, got it. Dad shows up with that one. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that is her. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm loving the crunching sound. Who's eating? What do we What do we got? What's for food? Stamus, what are you eating? Oh, they're chips. What Pringles. Chips? Are they Pringles. ketchup chips? Wait, do you guys call them trips? Chips in Canada, not um, what are the American? Oh, uh, fries. Crisps? Crisps? They call them. Oh no, wait. no, like potato no, chips. Potato, potato chips, 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 not crisps? fries, not fries. Yeah, potato yeah, yeah. chips. So, yeah, are they not Pringles. called crisps in America? No, only in Do they Britain. They call those things crisps. In Britain, they're called crisps. Wait, is that a like oh, crisps? So uh, chips, chip, but chips are 
fries. fries. Chips are all Australia. chips and chips. Wait, fries? No, we have fries here too, I guess. Now we call we call them all chips in New Zealand. So Even if got, they're fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like so we you do just that have to. Too. You have to know from the context of uh, of the conversation. Garlic broth coming in hot. Pringles aren't even chips. (laughs) What? What what are delicious? You crazy? Who said that? What are Pringles then? (laughs) I'd like to know what they are instead. (laughs) They're like crispy donuts, right? (laughs) Donuts. I I bet they're they're gonna come back and say something like they're dehydrated potatoes. Pringles. Oh, Pringles. <laughs> okay, I thought you were talking. You know those round cheese, cheese. I don't know. Cheezels. Cheezels. The round, the yeah. round things. Yeah. I thought oh, that's um, what they were talking cheesies? about. Cheesies, like like Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. Cheetos. Yes. Yeah. I thought you were talking about that, but Pringles. Yes, they're chips. Crisps. Chips. Chips. Um, AOC is, apparently Pringles don't count. Nominate. Yeah, think... What you doing? Yeah, SG, what are you doing, man? Oh, what sorry, I got work? super distracted once I started talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting here clicking up and down my bed. Hold on. We're all waiting for you. You're just like clicking. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this happens on my stream all the time, eh? Like, I'll, I'll just sit there and start talking about nothing. And I'll <laughs> one turn for Jack's almost an crazy, hour. Like, we're we're starting the great uh, philosophical war of what constitutes a chip. So everything is a chip. Everything a, is a chip. Yes, a, everything is a chip. What is everything? Like my couch? Is it a chip? Yep. Yeah, if you want chip. it to be. What? How? It's a, it's a chip off the old block. Oh, shut oh, up. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> but it's a couch. <laughs> hey, hate you both. This is... <laughs> Australia's gang up. Stagmus, Australia's gang up on me. Australia on New Zealand. Yep. Stagmus, do something. Hey, mate. What do you want me to do? I'm Canada. Do something! What are you gonna do about it? He's gonna smile politely because he's. <laughs> don't, don't spit out facts like that. That's not nice. <laughs> I am uh, limited to uh, just two cities at the moment. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Are you actually? Yeah, well, no, I can settle where these barbarians are, but I'm trying to deal with them right now. And oh. uh, I can settle mm-hmm. somewhere else, but I'd, I'm not sure if loyalty pressure would be uh, damaging to that city. Oh. Probably would, not going to lie. <laughs> All right. The people are loyal to me. <laughs> I'm building boats. All right. Um, I know I just really held up the turns just then, but I really need to go to toilet. Is that cool? I'm going to be like two minutes. No. Maybe. All right. Sorry. You must stand by your Australian. I'll be back, though. We'll we'll, we'll (laughs) keep talking about chips, I guess. Comrade. And chips ahoy. Yeah. Chips ahoy. Let's not Not talk about chips, though. (laughs) What's your favorite chip? Favorite favorite flavor? Oh, you're making me hungry. Uh, Definitely a Dorito. You can't go wrong with Doritos. What type of Doritos? What kind of Doritos, though? Because they're still like a a brand. Well, I I like spicy. Um, but I don't know what flavor that is for Doritos. Sweet chili heat. You guys have so many more flavors than Australians get. We get like the, you know, oh, original or like. The only the other day I discovered the Cool Ranch one. I'm like, what? Cool Ranch. Really? Cool Ranch? What are the yeah, available I mean, flavors? Apparently, that you it's have? like people's favorite flavor of Dorito is Cool Ranch. Like, that's like a legit thing. People. Have voted on it and cool ranch is their favorite even though original is the superior flavor when has anyone ever said the original was their superior flavor in anything I did like <laughs> I did. You, what what i'm impartial to nacho cheese oh nacho cheese is good okay i'm really hungry now <laughs> okay you who ever takes like okay what's your favorite ice cream um well, oh wait! Actually, I had this discussion the other day. Every streamer has vanilla. to have this dis- all I care discussion. About. Just don't. Say it's not vanilla. vanilla. Fuck. Okay. If vanilla is your favorite flavor, I just who you need to look in the mirror and question your sensibilities. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we're, wow. playing, okay. we're playing vanilla. <laughs> we're playing vanilla Civ right now, so I don't know. Maybe it goes. Oh along. yeah, yeah. We are playing vanilla Civ. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> oh wow, that 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 made chat upset. That is chat got a little upset about that. Vanilla chips, no. bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm glad. Feel upset. You need a question, Queen Chi. I see you. You need to question it. You're gonna think maybe I need to explore some other flavors. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad flavor, but there's better flavors out there for you. You need to Man, yeah, explore agree. this. <laughs> Just have like mango, mango ice cream. Delicious, amazing. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, mango is I'm really nice. I'm pretty boring for ice cream myself, which is I like chocolate. So mm. no, you yeah, I think my favorite better is than chocolate. Vanilla. And which is like okay because it's chocolate, and chocolate right, is back. the greatest flavor. And it's still of, of all time. better than vanilla. Yes. Yeah. Vanilla, you have to have something with it. That's how bad of an ice cream it is. And it's just <laughs> like you have about, to pair it with something else. <laughs> what about French vanilla? French vanilla is good. Oh, French vanilla. Is gross. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, no one likes French vanilla, really? Vanilla I love bean? French vanilla. It's oh, delicious. Is that the vanilla bean one? I don't know. It's just called French vanilla. I I I I am oh. I like I do like French vanilla. That is good. I also like vanilla, but it's not my favorite. That's the that's the point here. It's not your favorite. <laughs> what about what about like the soft serves from McDonald's? Those things are delicious. Get mixed. Soft serve. Oh, oh soft, serve. soft serve ice cream that's chocolate and vanilla twist. That was yeah. my favorite. Like soft yeah. serve ice cream ever. There you go. There you go. Look, I don't want to get all fancy on this chat, but definitely matcha ice cream is. Mm. That's good. Okay. And then we were talking about pistachio the other day. Pistachio ice cream is good too. Okay, you're a bougie ice cream girl. Got it. Yeah, bougie. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're out here like, I got Rocky Road, I got chocolate, I got vanilla, I got mint chocolate, I got pistachio and matcha. Pistachio. Mm. I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a rock. But peanut butter and chocolate? Oh. Ooh. Oh, now man. we do have to ask about this then because you know not everyone's mm. familiar with this one because we were talking about chips initially. So there is a special type of chip in Canada. It's like apparently oh. like a very Canadian thing, yes. which is uh, ketchup chips. Yes. So we have what? a type of chip. Yeah, we have a type of chip called ketchup chips. Um, and they're kind of like, they're not really, they don't really taste like ketchup, to be honest. But no, they are kind of like a, yeah, they're kind of like a tangy uh, chip, but they're called ketchup chips. And no one else makes, no one else makes them. America did recently get a bunch of them, but I didn't know if anyone else had tried them. And there's also all dressed. Oh. That's a Canadian thing too. Oh yeah, all dressed. Yeah, all dressed. So the yeah. chips uh, ch taste like ketchup. It um, is officially called ketchup flavor, but it's just like a red powder, okay. and it tastes like I don't even know. Like, like it tastes like tomatoes. French fries. If you were to eat a French fry with ketchup, that's what it tastes like. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, think I've had that before because they tried to make it a thing in Australia. Did you guys because even have? Sense. Did you guys even have the different uh, colored ketchups when you were little? Very briefly, like we for had like, like maybe green six ketchup months. here for a while, and it was the yeah. most disgusting thing ever. It tastes exactly oh, the no. same, but it was green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we had it for like six months, and then that was it. Yeah, they just don't change the color. It's good. Um. Well, do you guys have chicken salt? Chicken salt? We have like chicken, chicken yeah. seasoning. Yeah, like it's 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 actually I just discovered this the other day that it's like an Australian thing that chicken you salt. put chicken salt on your chips. Mm. On your what? We do that here. We do that here as well, and that's the most delicious thing ever. Yeah, that it's like so a salt good. with what chicken. You know, but you know what Canadians do to oh sorry. Yeah. <laughs> What do they do? They do that too. No, no, we like. I love it when we when you talk to people from other places. Everyone has like this, their own little idiosyncrasy. So, uh, Canadians uh, apparently it's a Canadian thing. Like to put ketchup on like some of their breakfast foods, like eggs, especially like scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dad does that. Um, 
And apparently I did not know until like I moved to the United States for a while that that's a completely like no one does that. <laughs> Chad oh is very God. confused about what chicken salt is. Yeah, it's like chicken salt. Let's go back it's, to the chicken yeah, salt. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> no, what but also putting tomato sauce on eggs, like ketchup on eggs, it's a no-no yeah. from me. But That's it's a no a, from a, me too, it, don't worry. And most of uh, everybody in the world. I wouldn't do it either, but I do like it on, um, on like muffins like bacon and egg muffins and stuff i think it's really yum on that oh like from mcdonald's but on, okay yeah 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 yeah. but like actually oh. just putting it on things is just weird yeah what is chicken salt it's australia's secret unami bomb okay it's a what? secret Shh. <laughs> it's actually like ridiculously delicious we used to walk home from school and there was a um there was like this place called cools which was a it was like a fried chicken shop and they had yeah. chicken salted chips and everybody from our school would literally walk there after school and just like buy chicken flavored chips. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, chicken flavored Same. chips. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are weird. <laughs> kidding. Yeah. I'm gonna kidding. Find things that, to do then. That's not even the weirdest thing. Recently, so with um wait, was this I think this was chips as well. Chips as in potato chips, for anyone getting confused, because we say chips for everything. Uh, so this sure. time we're talking about... Uh, potato yeah, chips. Like, like, yeah, potato chips. Cri yeah. Like the ones in packets. Yeah. Um, yeah. Recently they had tin flavored chips here, which is the weirdest thing. They had what flavored, sorry? Yes. Lemmingtons? You guys don't know what lemmingtons are? Lemmington? Lemmington. Uh, Lemmington. What the hell is that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> is that, that's uh, like Google it. Scene. It's like a... Lemmingtons <laughs> are delicious. Lemmingtons are actually so good. It's like a thing that you buy from a bakery. Um, yeah, I don't know how to like describe it. It's like, it's like a spongy cake covered in like and, coconut, and coconut and chocolate. And I'll send you a picture. Okay. Yeah. yeah please do. Coconut and chocolate. Link. Oh my god, that link is like. Oh my god. Imagine <laughs> if I link something like bad in the chat, like accidentally. Like, oh, he is. I don't know what. I don't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hold on. Chat it's yelling at me for not naming a city. Cree are the something Walmart. What? <laughs> what? Walmart Inca. How dare you say oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> How could you say that? You wrong. Oh, these are good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oh, okay. so we made. So it's like a lemon, had, it's like a lemon cake chips. with chocolate and coconut flakes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. These look good. I could had, eat um, a pack of those right now if I want to do. Huh. They released potato chips that tasted like those, which was Whoa. really weird because of the difference in texture. Because we've um we've gotten really obsessed with releasing weird flavors of chips lately. Wait, you have a Lemington chip? Yeah. Oh, I think God. Blue either Bluebird or Eater me. Can't remember who. Oh no. But yeah. They were really popular for a little bit. Have you for guys a little ever bit had... until people realized they were eating that... a sweet chip. Yeah, a sweet <laughs> chip. It's sweet and crunchy. Have... Uh, I don't know. Have you guys ever Have had poutine? Had... Um, poutine is poutine when the chips are covered in like a whole bunch of like different ingredients, like bacon. Sp specific ones, cheese. but. It's so... usually gravy and cheese. Gravy yeah. and cheese. But cheese oh, that curds. sounds really French sad. cheese that curds, sounds... not like cheddar, not like what, not like d dumb cheese, like French cheese curds. That's what it is. I've definitely never French. had that, but I've had <laughs> fries from like KFC and dipped them in the potato and gravy, which is pretty similar. Doesn't have no. The cheese. No, no, no. You gotta have the cheese, man. That's like <laughs> the best part, dude. Like, look, chat's getting mad because it's it's like it's curds cheese curds don't put like cheddar cheese on curds. this thing it's not the same oh don't put cheddar okay no che cheese i'm gonna look up cheese curds french cheese what curds. do they look like like little oh okay bits like of cheese bits yeah of cheese like, like like chunks of cheese um, i guess chunks of cheese is it melted or just well it, it's out? hot right so like it comes out hot so like the gravy's hot Ooh. and the fries are hot so you put the cheese on it it melts over top of it so then when you, when you take it out it like it like oozes and like Ugh. Yeah. Oh, so that sounds so good. It's delicious. 
blame game. You took Feed the World to Stagmas, you bastard. Yeah. Why <laughs> wouldn't I? I have no, I have no I Tundra. <laughs> There's no reason to take, like, work ethic after I can't get, like, Dance of the Aurora or something like that. I still have my, my uh, religion, although I didn't name it my classic religious name. Okay, mm -hmm. I got mine. Don't worry. Oh, I forgot religion is an actual possibility. Uh, Van Bradley. Ready? It's Van Bradley. I'll trade Sophia a proper poutine for a case of great northern beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. He told okay. me all about that. Yeah. Told us all about that. Some great northern beer. It's not quality. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely trade you that because I would be the winner in that situation. <laughs> Oh. All right. We both have religions. Nystagmus. They do not A have religion. Star. New city state. New city state quest. All right. Wait, we don't have religion? That's true. Um no, Well, I'm role I'm role playing New Zealand. We're a very not religious country. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Oh no. No, 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 no. A natural wonder discovered. Ooh, a desert. All right. Are you in the same as close to getting into the ocean? Um, um I'm in the ocean. Oh, <laughs> I mean, my question, I'm writing a question. Hold on. To I look. am, uh, I'm about to get Celestial Navigation and then I'm going to get ship building. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like at that spot too. I'm really close um, to getting in the ocean too. Oh, you start, you're, sorry. Shut up. You, <laughs> you're, you're coupe. Like. <laughs> you start with ship building and you like, got all that stuff. You're in the ocean. Oh, uh, Moy, are you, are you building the Oracle? I am, yeah. How many turns are you away from it? Two. Damn it. Yeah! Oh, well. <laughs> I just, I saw you had one already, like, you had Stonehenge, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna take, I'll, I'll take, I'll take, uh, I'll take Oracle. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Damn it. Um... Now, I know we just said this out loud, but... Just ignore it. If you're still building it, go for it. <laughs> you're not allowed to talk out loud? No, no, we, no, no, no nothing. I'm just teasing them. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh huh. Oh, twenty dollars. Oh, nice. Peanut. Thank you, Van Bradley. Thank you, Van Bradley. Appreciate you gifting a sub to Sophie. Thank you, man. What do, what do I call myself when I become a, a subscriber to your community? Uh, oh, yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Am I um, a Sib Showy Showman? Yeah. <laughs> it, right, Nystagmus? Yeah, we're Sib, Wait, what? Uh, Sib, Sib, Sib Showy and welcome to the Sib Showy. <laughs> Guys. A civilian! That's cute. S a civilian. A civvy. All right, a civvy. There you go. That's pretty good. A civilian. All right. Cool. That's actually a good one. That's a All good right. one. I like yeah, it. Yeah, we had we knew that the I whole like time. It. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about that in totally, our last meeting. Totally yeah. planned. Yeah. Totally planned. An addict. Mm, okay, well. <laughs> I feel honored to become a civvy. I hope I do this community proud. <laughs> well, you have really dumb emotes of my face and Zoe's face, so I'm sure uh I'm sure those will go. Uh-huh. Yeah. To waste. Oh, $20. <laughs> hey. hey, Shark. Thanks for the gifting of stuff to Zach, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Hey, Sophie. You know yes. how earlier you're talking about like the war on Calpats that you guys have going on now? What do you know about the uh, emu war in Australia? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Calpats. I was like, Calpat? Good. Is this like a Middle Eastern country that <laughs> we're like at war with at the moment that I haven't heard what? of? What? Um, <laughs> Calpat. Calpat. Like, type it out. Hold on. Calpat. Like that. 
Um, no, uh, the Amy War, oh. yes. I mean, that is far behind us, but we do have an entire um, legion of emus out in the desert that's just ready to attack our capital cities at any moment. So, Are you serious? Um, yes, they they have a force that is unformid unformidable. Is that a word? Unformidable? Yeah. yeah force? Yeah. No, um, wouldn't it be formidable? Wait. Wait, uh, formidable. Yeah, formidable? No, formidable like means like... Yeah, don't, like, so like, what don't, would... okay. don't let me verify words okay. for you. That's not going to work out. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the the British government, like, I mean, the Australian government that were, like, superiorly British at that time, were trying to um, get uh, emu numbers down in, like, northern Australia. Um, so they, like, sent out like a contingent of like is this thing on i don't know if it was the army i think the army went nah, out there it was uh it was discharged veterans i think it wasn't veterans? actual currently oh, serving military people oh that's good yeah and then they they went head on with like this emu population but the emu population was so big that they they, they lost <laughs> Yeah, they were they were literally like I trying to gun them now down. PB. The yeah, animals. and they <laughs> <laughs> were beating them. Yeah, <laughs> so you really can't take on the Australian outback, even if you try. You just can't do it. You got to just succumb to the Australian outback. Have you ever seen a kangaroo in your life? Me? Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I'm just that. I've never seen. Let's I, learn I, I, about I've the Brady Emu War, but do not let that distract you from the fact that in wait, have you guys seen Kenny Rogers? Have you 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 seen Kenny Rogers? Have Bother, 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 no? bother, bother, I bother, bother, I bother, 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 what about oh, a platypus? You ever seen a platypus before? Oh, I haven't no. seen one in the real in flesh. But no, I know pairs of platypus. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> They're like the not. weirdest okay. animal to ever exist. They are. It really They're is. It's like a duck and a turkey. <laughs> no, no, turkey. A, a duck. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. A, <beaver. laughs> a duck, a beaver, and uh, a fish. On one. Don't forget you get. No, you got to throw the snake in there as well because they're venomous. Are they what? Yeah, they're venomous. <laughs> yeah, they also they're also mammals that lay eggs. Yes, that they I lay know. eggs. Yeah, but also is they everything grow... venomous in Australia? Oh, like, everything is. <laughs> everything is. <laughs> so they just like eat you, and they don't even have time to like digest you. They're just like fucking. Um, I don't even know what they eat. To be honest, who knows? Neither do I actually. <laughs> What do platypuses eat? What do platypuses eat? All right, I'll take, I'll check that out for you. What do platypus <laughs> eat? Oh, they are small carnivores. water animals such as insect larvae, fresh water shrimps, and crayfish. There you go. Oh, they eat little, fresh little sea bugs. Nice. Yeah. That's a they're living their life. <laughs> 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 but then you, uh, New Zealanders have kiwis, right? The little, what the are birds? they called? Yeah, they're the called kiwis. Birds? Yeah, they're so cute. They are cute. They're um, are they incredibly rare. They're no, no, friendly? No, 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 they're timid as hell. Meanwhile, oh, like couple emus, essentially, like very little emus. Or like, um, or, uh, what's yeah, that, I suppose you can look at it that, that way. Pokemon, it's, like, it's uh, like a little Pokemon version of an ugly ass emu, yes. Meanwhile, uh, Canada gets the meanest bird ever, like, thought of before. Oh, the Canadian goose? Do you guys know about the Canadian yeah. goose? No. That bird is the no. Is it worse? Is it worse than a kia? A, a, a kia? 
I'll tell you about that after. What's what's the Canadian goose? Go go ahead, Miss Dagmas. What Canada? They're just they're it's a it's a national bird, um, and they are Skibby like dibby spawn dibby of Satan. Di dub dub yo di dub dub Skibby oh. dibby dibby yo di dub 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 yo di dub dub I am the Scat Man. Do they attack people? People. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. They, they straight up just attack people. Um, they attack like your car, as if you're driving oh, by and stuff. Yes, yeah, so that's just like a Kia. Oh. So Kias are like weird parrots that are over here. And if you park too close to like forest, because people go for hikes and stuff a lot here, right? But if you park too close to a forest that has Kias in it, you'll come back and they'll they'll literally tear your car apart. Like they'll just pull it oh, wow. your car to pieces. Wow. They're so fucking messed okay, up. Okay, no, you win. No, oh, my God, can any goose are just <laughs> annoying what? as hell? Birds just have anger issues, I find. Like, we need to do something about this. I feel like we need to have an outreach program for birds, <laughs> just in general. <laughs> Globally, we need an outreach program to, like, help them with their issues. I don't know what, what the issues are. Maybe mummy daddy issues. We'll find out. We have to find out. It's like a service to humanity to find out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they have daddy, mommy and daddy issues, those, those little birds. They, 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 well, they, they, get, they, they, they get left in the nest. They ditch them. They're like, hey, I'm just going to go out for smokes. going to go for some morning worms. And they just never come back. And they're like, mommy, daddy, never come back. You never exactly. come back. Exactly. And then they have exactly. to fend for themselves. They have to learn to fly for themselves. And how do they learn to fly? They just they just fucking jump out of the nest. Can you fly? Yeah, no. exactly. you got to learn on that. Or That is why fly. birds are so freaking angry all the time. <laughs> Okay, this makes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this makes a lot of sense now. This makes a lot of sense. So yeah, they're gonna beat up your car when they see it because they're like, "Fuck you, Mister! I grew up <laughs> with a, with a car. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fly everywhere." Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna stop going going with this. <laughs> okay. Fly or die, kid. Exactly. Sophie Quest, legit question. Does your holiday extend until Tuesday or is it just Monday? CC, 100 games, 100 days. Oh, it's Monday. Um, Today is Monday for me, so it only goes till Monday. Um, But four day weekend we had, which is always, you know, bougie, as we all say. How is that bougie? What? I don't know. It's not bougie. Do you know what bougie means? What is bougie? <laughs> like, high class. <laughs> high class like like you only <laughs> shop at like prada and like like designer like oh that, yeah that, i mean that person's really bougie, bougie. Four day, that, four make, day that makes sense though doesn't it like high class people have four day weekends <laughs> yes but Isn't i guess pretty... the no. yeah. <laughs> a low class person has seven day weekends like i don't understand <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> it's a very like um middle class thing to to have a four day weekend so Is what it? would okay. be the what would be below bougie then uh middle How class like, I don't know. Like, what would be the word for it oh uh okay, we can make one um <laughs> yeah well, let's make one up um bony gucci 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 well <laughs> okay Gucci is a brand as well, so that's tough. You know, when you when you wear Gucci, usually you are bougie. So when you say you're Gucci, yeah, but like you're, you know, oh, well. I feel okay. like Gucci is, but then you could have Gucci knockoffs. So you're a knockoff. How about that? Knockoffs. <laughs> Knocks. Oh yeah, it's you can make sure knocking even off more. for the holiday weekend. <laughs> you're knocks. <What? laughs> Uh, and then, and then, and then below that is Ratchet. That's true. Look at that freaking hype trains. Is that two hype trains that you've had? No, that's that was the one that just ended. So thank you very wow, much. That went for chat. a long time. That was good. That was a really long time. What level did it get to? One. <laughs> <laughs> good job, guys. <laughs> good job. We all did it. Did it. Hey, hey, level one is hard, is, is hard to achieve it in itself. So the, right, don't yeah. play it down. Don't play it down. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Exactly. Don't exactly. Yeah, yeah. Settings real high. Yeah. Thank you for everybody who participated in the hype train. I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm proud of the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. It's all right. 100% better um, than level so zero, funny. that's true. 
the fanciest of ketchups. Yeah, the fancy Dijon ketchup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dijon. Oh, that's a good word for uh, for the like middle class bougie. Oh, Dijon. Dijon. It's all Dijon. Dijon. I'm down with that. I can do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and you want to start it? Is it going to be the new like fetch? I don't know if you see Mean Girls, but. Oh, I have seen Mean Girls. I am... So you don't know if someone's seen Mean Girls? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I can't, I'll, question. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, wait, wait, wait. wait. Question for chat. Question for chat. Has anybody out there not seen? <laughs> I'll oh, be completely yes. honest. I don't know if it's just like I didn't. I didn't know if it's just like a North American movie or if it was a worldwide. You know what I mean? Like I just don't know oh, what gets leaked down there. So like if I just say something like I don't know if you've ever done this or seen it. It's because I don't know what you consume. I have no idea. I know nothing about Australia. All okay. I know is that you get kicked with a boot outside if you get, if you do bad things and your toilet flows the wrong way. That's all all I know. boy knows about Australia is what he learned from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just, just know that America's culture is just global, worldwide yeah. dominant. Sarge has never seen it. Sarge, you need to fix your You've life. You've never seen Mean Girls, Sarge. Now you that should I definitely know that go see Mean oh Girls. God, that's dude. crazy. That's a that's a Queenslander thing. I feel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For some reason, Queenslanders just they're just you know they're different <laughs> okay okay tell us tell us why i, I want to know i need i need the tea i need to like well, I, if i can use example. any ammunition against sarge i need it right now sophie i need it Look, out of you i'm from new south wales and there's always been like you know tension between new south wales and queensland they constantly beat us at this um football game called the um what's it called i forget state of anyway origin, state of origin. yes <laughs> Um, but Queenslanders, I don't know. There's just something different about them. They're a bit more relaxed. They're a bit more relaxed. And why wouldn't you have seen Mean Girls? I think that's my two cases for that <laughs> for that point. It's like one of the Queenslanders I know hasn't seen Mean Girls, and the other one is that they are relaxed people. And they, <laughs> I don't know how yeah. those are related, am, but <laughs> for them. <laughs> Uh, Burly Gamer asks for Sophie, do you know what Green V is? You can say no if you don't. Green, green, what? Green V? v like green V, as in the energy drink. Oh, uh, well, yes. Now she knows what it is. <laughs> I, I, I mean, otherwise. Um, I don't eat, I don't drink, uh, energy drinks. But why? Uh -oh. it's uh, he's asking that because I'm obsessed with green V. Wait, it's a New Zealand crack? Oh, I thought you wrote snack before that, but now I can see now <laughs> that that is something that people <laughs> are addicted to in New Zealand. That's not good. It is good. It's delicious. How Dude, I mean, it's, how do you don't say drink it's energy good? drinks. Don't drink energy drinks. Oh, yeah, You're I saw your little... I, I know, I saw your post about it a couple of weeks ago in the... Where, did, where was that? I posted yeah, you about post, it? You're writing about it in one of the challenge threads on Discord. No, that was me. I was the one who oh. said that energy drinks. I, my exact words were like, energy drinks are literally poison. <laughs> poison, yep, yeah, that's it. I knew it was one of you guys. I remember reading it you know and I was like, uh -oh. is? Do you know Do you know who he is, SG? Do I know who he is? Yeah, do you know who Nystagmus is? He's kind of a big deal. Is he? Wait. I mean, to be honest, the first time you rated me, I didn't even know who... Well, I don't know who you guys were oh, in general. Wow. <laughs> yeah, sorry. sorry? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big deal. I don't know what he's I talking about. <laughs> why is he a big deal? Why is he a big deal? Why is he a big deal? I need to figure out why you're a big deal. Okay. <laughs> Please inform can we, me. Can we Google him and it's going to come up with stuff? Yeah, no. dude. You, Google Nystagmus. It's, it's, it, you'll find so many articles about Nystagmus. <laughs> you mean like the medical uh -huh. condition? <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, no, I actually but... knew someone that had this condition as well. I that. Oh, no. It's like the darting side to side thing, right? Yeah, yeah it's an eye, it's an yeah. eye movement that you can have. Cool. What made you choose that name? Yeah, that's a really Dude. good question. Um, I actually have like a. I have like a physiologic next time, which doesn't affect my vision at all. I mean, yeah, but I can in, I can induce it. Oh with, what? Um, really? Yeah, yeah. With um, like when um, if I'm like uh dizzy, I'll it'll induce my uh, nystagmus. 
And also, oh. yeah. I didn't even know that. Wait, what does that mean? So, like, if you get dizzy, your eyes start going side to side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, dude. Well, I feel like I've done that before as well. We have awesome. similar. Now I'm confused. I mean, I get vertigo, so I understand the eye thing because when you get vertigo, your eyes do flicker like that. Um, yeah, and that that movement is called nystagmus. So you get vertigo. Yeah. Did you say you get? Right. So nystagmus, just just the bare bones of it, is just an an eye movement where your eye will track to the side and then reset back to yes. the center, and it just goes oh. back and forth over and over and over again, right? Yes. You can it's induce it in most. Yeah, you can induce it in most people by how they track objects far or close to them when they're on a moving um, platform. So like if you're on a train and you're looking at things close from the train as it's darting by, that's also like a physiologic nystagmus where your eyes will go back and forth. Right? Okay, so, so you are triggered by um, your your nystagmus and vertigo is triggered by that. Um, like, just by by spinning. If I if I spin too much. Oh my god! Same. Yeah. Oh, Ferris wheels. I found out even trigger me. Ferris wheels, and you don't even spin. You just go up and down. Really? <laughs> yeah, Ferris I'm, not, I'm, I'm a bit. Like... <laughs> Vector cat <laughs> eyes don't have that's bones. Like... <laughs> that's the slowest moving spin of all time. I know. That's insane. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Anyway, Nystagmus is a doctor, so you should listen yeah. to what he says about energy drinks are literally, not literally, poison. So oh, I'm so sure. That's why, that's why he was saying I'm a big deal or something like that. He was like the building up to that. Food. Yeah, is was, that what we're, like, we're trying the to The issue get to. is they're also really delicious, and I can't stop myself. That's a lie. I could stop myself, but I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, deliciousness. Yeah. <laughs> I get the same as I'm deciding between two Um. Yeah, so we've got bougie nystagmus in the chat. Can I get some hype in the chat for some bougie nystagmus being bougie a doctor and playing Civilization with us? I mean, I can speak for myself. A post grad, let's go. <laughs> you, you're post grad. Do you have like a master's? Uh, I have an um uh, <laughs> a bachelor and an honors degree, but I didn't the, do masters. Oh, okay. Because, what is an honors degree? Um, what is that? What is... It's like masters. Yeah. But it's not. But masters. it's um more specific. it's you write a research um paper instead oh. of like oh. read okay. like yeah it's different in Australia. Um, so I wrote a thesis and I could have gone on to be a doctor like Nystagmus, but I chose to stream instead <laughs> and not be boot. <laughs> I chose to be Dijon instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was a good, good callback. Uh, <laughs> well, so, is there any other reason why like, you just didn't want to get it? Like you just weren't like feeling it. That like, you didn't want, you may want to take a break or like what did you even do oh. your? I'll just say masters because it's or honors. What did you do your yeah. honors in? It was on um, it, it was on uh, ancient classical Greece, and like the specific topic was an, an evacuation of Athens in 480 BC, and I pretty much logistically reconstructed like it. Um, <clears throat> but the reason why I didn't go Nothing ahead with all. doing my PhD Come was on, because COVID started, and they were doing huge cuts to the universities, especially in the arts. And then um, I was like, well, heck, I'm not going to make any money from this. I said heck again. Oh, no. And so I was like, okay, let's just, you know, teach people online instead in a, in a very um, in, in, informal way. <laughs> that, no, it's kind of cool, though. Like, there's not yeah. a lot of historians or, like, history people on Twitch, right? There's, like, you definitely fit a very, very specific niche. Yeah. I just need to find all my history nerd bros and woman ladies and all that reside along the gender um gauge <laughs> <laughs> but i'm guessing you also like you did like, you, you also played games your whole life and you wanted to maybe like mix kind of those yeah exactly i've always yeah. played games. 
What was, favorite? Okay, let's just do favorite game. So start with Sophie, then we'll go SG. I don't know because I don't know you guys, so I'd like to know. Okay. Um, favorite game has got to be Civil. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not civilization. <laughs> don't lie to my face, okay? <laughs> Whoa! Why are you laughing at the idea of civilization being the your favorite? No, game? I do. I do love civilization. <laughs> <laughs> I have always played civilization before. Like even in uh, high school, I would play it and like eat like massive amounts of peanut butter sandwiches. But my favorite game. <laughs> what? <I've been> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was my. Well, there's no off. other way to play Civ, you see. You have to yeah. have the peanut butter no, sandwich. Oh <laughs> so silly of me. I'm sorry. I, it changes all the time, but the Procession to Calvary is is a really good game, like indie game that you should check out. Um, it's like got Renaissance art, and they've like actually animated Renaissance art to make it into this like it's Monty Python esque um, click and click and whatever it is game point and, click. and point it's point really click. point and click game it's hilarious and uh yeah definitely look at that if you what like to calvary i'm click. sorry the procession to calvary procession it's based uh, it's an actual okay. painting from renaissance um but you play as this female um soldier that's left the the crusades and she just wants to kill people pretty much she's like still on a rampage and she her quest is to kill the pope um wow. so yeah it's pretty cool you gotta check it out but yeah okay like moving say, on i like how you say renaissance renaissance renaissance, yeah, renaissance? yes that's such an australian way of saying it renaissance okay renaissance. Renaissance. i know i think like, that one i'm not teasing. i actually did, like i'm like oh that's kind of a cool way to say it renaissance, renaissance. Nice. yeah okay yeah, so mean, I, something but. to ca calgary or calvary calvary Cal calvary. calvary calvary okay calvary okay is it like the horse yes but is it's a place game you were playing what did you play on stream i think i see that like, oh saw that. that one is also one of my favorites it's um kingdom come deliverance for the most historical oh, that one's so good. Oh. Game. you play that game it that is difficult amazing. Too. that game is amazing it is heckin amazing Stop saying heckin. Heckin. Heckin amazing. Heckin amazing. Beans. Ashley, <laughs> what's your favorite game? Uh, just real quickly, Sophie, you want to read the team chat? Oh. I know you sent me a message probably like an hour ago, but I've only just replied. Um, <laughs> it's not her, it's me. I'm like really bad. Um, but I think, oh, I know thing. Uh, Moi, you should know what my favorite game is. My favorite game is Dota. Um, Boom. It's literally Ugh. the game. I have no. like six and a half thousand hours in Dota. Uh, uh, dude. I, <laughs> I love it. I love Dota more than anything. Now, um, before, like, what was it? Uh, I played, like, Pick I, up I some really berries the from, the, from the servo and, and some grog from the botlio really so we can get. Um, but Dota's like, heck and maggot. The game that I've played the most. Dota and Han. There was a game before Dota called Han, which is the heroes of mm -hmm. Blue. Yep. And for a very brief period of time, um, me and my teammates were actually sponsored in that game. So we played that semi, oh. semi professionally for a while. Ooh. Wow, aren't but, we yeah. fancy, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is back in the dark ages of esports, though. So like semi professionally means like we got paid for our like our internet cafe time was paid for us. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> 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 and in return for that, we had to play for like 13 hours a day. We practiced and shit. So, real high life living, right? Yeah, I know. Sounds like it. But yeah, I, I played that. Dota by far is, is my is my favorite game. Well, no, wait, it's that uh, it's that uh, that bougie life or that Dijon life. You know that Dijon life? Yeah, we're living living medi medium large Dijon it's life. Dougie. Dooge Doogie, yes. Doogie, yeah. <laughs> the doogie life? That sounds weird. Well, uh... It sounds too... No, it sounds too close to douchey, that's why. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's I the like, joke. What sounds that's, bizarre about that? That's oh, right. the joke. They job. said, pick up some darries from the, the Zerbo and some grub from the Bolo so we can get heckin' maggot. Oh, that's right. I forgot you guys say Zerbo. The servo. 
What is servo? Oh, it's actually, like wait, wait, wait. Station for petrol and nibblies. <laughs> yeah, and and um, we have dairies here, which is like a uh, fuck. I can't remember what they call them over in the states, like Seven Eleven style stores. Oh, and convenience in store. Australia, yeah, like a convenience store. And in Australia, I think they're called milk bars, depending on which state you're in. Uh -huh. What? Yep. <laughs> we call them dairies. They call them milk bars. I'm learning way brain. more about Australia today than I ever anticipated. <laughs> you yeah. know, Sarge, like Sarge was on before, right? And I was asking him questions about Australia. Dude, he gave me nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's all <laughs> sorts of slang. <laughs> what about, um, so she said servo before, right? Um, do you guys ever say Arvo? Not Australia, uh, as in Moy and them. No. Like, uh, do you know what Arvo no, is? Because I, I said that to one of my American friends the other day. I'm like, yeah, I said what that the, the other day too. What the fuck is like, like, Arvo? What? Arvo. <laughs> what yeah, is it's an af afternoon. That's, so I'll see you afternoon? in the Arvo. I'll see you. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Arvo. slang out the wazoo down here. <laughs> I know wazoo. Nobody <laughs> speaks. Wazoo? Nobody speaks real words. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is just Australia education. Australia yeah, New Zealand education. education. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> does, does your water, that when it goes down the drain, go counterclockwise or not counterclockwise? No, I need to know. I asked Sarge, I'm like, dude, you gotta check for me next time. Yeah, it's it like, does oh, it goes too fast. Through the opposite way to you guys because of the way position. Yeah, gravity. It's called the Cornwallis, uh, Cornwallis effect. Yeah. I, after seeing the episode of The Simpsons where they were testing that, I actually watched it as a kid as well. And I was like, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> learning things! In small drains, you can make it go the other way just because it's usually on bigger scales that it's always the case, but in smaller scales, you can make it go the opposite way. Huh. Uh, Nasamus, rename a city. It got claimed. Uh, to what? Uh, Ottawa. Nardwar. To, no, Nardwar. <laughs> Nardwar. <laughs> what is that? Did you say Nardwar? Yeah. yeah. Nardwar. Nardwar. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what? It's a. It's a Canadian musician. Apparently. What? Nardwa, the human serviette. Yeah. <laughs> human serviette? Like the human napkin? Oh no. Confusing what am I the heck doing? Enemy. Oh my god, these internal traders of the Kree are crazy. Holy moly. Yep. Let's see, six food? If I trade with my capital? Ooh. The Kree. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see Brisbane. Oh. Hello, I see you, Halifax. Get the hell away from me. The Ooh. Halifax away from me? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm going to type a... Um... Sorry, this is a meme for my girlfriend. I'm gonna type a word into uh, the player chat. And tell me how you guys sure. would pronounce that. That's the name of a city in New Zealand. Dundin? And the Stagmus? Did you say the same? Wait, what? The, he just is said that... something in, in the Civ, in the, in the Civ in game chat. How do you pronounce uh, that word? Dundin? Is it Dunedin or something? No money. The Sophie, no? Sorry, the oh. way you said the way you said Brisbane just made me think of, of that word. Oh, Brisbane. It's, yeah, because <laughs> they said Brisbane. Um, and that confused me. But uh, that word's Dun uh, Dunedin. Dunedin. Which is a city in New Zealand. But every time we see it on like anything, they, people are always saying Dunedin or Dunedin. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so we'll, play this game. we'll play this game. We'll play this game. Pronounce that. Conformer. 
<laughs> That's not it. Come full for him right here. What? No, this is the this is um, that. shit. No, to no, that's fucking. I was gonna say toke, but <laughs> that's uh, that's thinking like Mexican or Spanish. Wait, and what word are you wanting us to pronounce? Uh, it's in the T O Q U E. Toke. Oh. To toke. I'd say toke. Toke. <laughs> Okay, it's toque, it's toque. it's toque. It is toque. 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 It is a hat, like a winter hat. Uh, Americans call it a beanie. I don't know if that helps you. Like uh, <laughs> oh, a winter so hat. Oh, that's right. Hold on a sec. Like this? Yes. Yes. Exactly. That is a toque. Does it look weird like this on top, or does it actually sit on your head properly? It covers our ears. That's. Pretty much that it. definitely doesn't cover my ear. I look like a, a baby's bottle. Wait, a toque looks exact. <laughs> that looks exactly like a beanie. That's what I said. Yeah, a it's a beanie. Yeah, it is a beanie. Yeah, it's, beanie. <laughs> yeah, it's what, what Americans call a beanie, but we call it a toque. Ah, what about what about this word here? This is an actual place name. What? <laughs> oh wow! Give okay. that one a shot. First of all. Why? <laughs> uh, it's a. It okay. describes a story of something that happened in that area. Tauma Tawakatenji Han Gako Au Au Tamati Ripuka. I'm gonna just stop there. <laughs> <laughs> is that the longest Maori word? Yeah, it is. Well, longest place name. What the heck is that? Hanga ko o o tamatea tu turi puka ka wait turi puka ka pi ki monga horonuku. Fuck, I can't remember the rest of it. Pokai fenua ki tana tahu. One. Yeah, it is worse than hala. You know how language works, right? I don't know if this is like an English-only thing, but like there are periods. That, you know, you put a period to stop and breathe, you know, and then what makes up a sentence is a bunch of words and you're supposed to say them all in like one, you know, one go, one breath. If you have to take a breath in the middle of a word, I think it's a little too long. Yeah, it's basically a paragraph. <laughs> it's long. It is very long. Uh, AOC's got the uh, Welsh, the Welsh one there. Yeah, there's actually, that I reckon, there's a video I of the. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen the video of the dude doing <laughs> well, it. That guy oh, nails it, man. Isn't German? Shush, German shush, has shush. like really long words too, right? Yeah, uh, I have. German has very long and then words. I think um, in, yeah, for the Inuit, I think they have like the most words for specific things because they have it in every different context. Like so, they have the most words for snow, because they had, the way their language is uh, is is set up that the word changes for each like context that they use it in. Hmm. That's almost like uh, Chinese. It's like you have two different words, but they're pronounced exactly the same. But it's just like how you emphasize a syllable is is how it's different context. I can't give you an example, but I just I just know that much. That's all I got. So I'm I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Me? He's just waiting. No no. I'm waiting for uh Sophie to figure out that she can't surprise war me. Before because she's bringing like a battering oh, ram Sophie, and all that stuff. Denounce him first. <laughs> Oh, oh right, you're your Canada. If you declare war on me, if you declare war on me, you declare war on Canada. Doing in turn. Oh, I'm just, okay. pre I'm just defending prepping myself. Prepping my war. I mean, prepping my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a looks about, just seeing what you know this heck and bean city is all about. <laughs> Making sure it's living up to its name. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. I was denounced by the uh, <gasps> by the Maori. No. What? Where are the Maori? 
I don't oh, know, wow. man. Do you, you don't That's know? That's a really good question. Denouncing people. You know, we didn't discuss this. <laughs> Nominate. Oh. We did not discuss that I was going to denounce. <laughs> I know, Can we didn't do that. that. <laughs> However, it was recently pointed out that you might need to. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. As this, you know, you forced me into this I know. scenario in which I attack heck and bean. How do I declare a surprise wall? You, you can't, you can't on Canada. It. You're not allowed so you on Canada. Can't, you can't you on can't Canada. It's not Canada. possible. I denounce you, pound me. Oh! <laughs> that was the queen. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I'm so sorry. What am I done? Huh? <laughs> wow. Even though you're on the same team. Okay, just... sorry. All right. I'm sorry, but you're both just, you know, as soon as you settled Halifax there, I was like, nope. How dare you? That then... sounds like a, that sounds on the same level as Zoe reasoning for declaring war. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Catherine Demit De 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 yeah. yeah, she's all about you know that gossip, and she annoys me the most out of all civs. She's always just like so disappointed in me as a civilization. Really, I yeah. can't stand. I can't stand the Aztec. It really bothers me that um, Montezuma will literally just start yelling at you the second you put a. Um, a luxury down as, yeah as soon as you improve a luxury <laughs> like you don't even get the chance to give it to him as you improve, like up in your face like oh, i'm gonna take you for slaves <laughs> the guy's literally got no chill he's just zero to a hundred all right oh god you got swordsman i, th I think all horsemen right. can fight swordsmen I, I don't quote me on that though I also see that you have a battering ram, but no melee units. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> don't let him bully you like that. Don't let him bully you like that. No. Okay. Hey, Moy, do, you know so Moy, do you know something about that? No, nothing at all. I can't even see over there. I'm blind. <laughs> I need some melee units. You can trade your teammate for gold if you need gold, by the way, and buy melee units. Oh. Yes, that's you're right. assuming you're assuming a teammate has gold. Yeah, you have I don't even gold. have. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't I haven't done anything in this game. I'm just been sitting here celebrating the fact that I've got a city this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't die in 19 turns. Shit. Um, warriors. Ugh. I need to investigate something. Hey, um, if, uh, boy, some of those galleys can, uh, head over this way. Yeah? All right. They're that, busy that, killing barbarians, but I'll, I'll, I'll send them your way. Yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, that, that would be... No. Nope. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm, Where are my I'm galleys? on my way, sir. I mean, if mm. Moy's going to bring ships into this, I suppose I can. Yeah, where's my, like, <laughs> naval... I was going to stay out of it and just let them have their fun. Yeah, I got to be worried about the Maori. He's going to show up with like caravels on my door or something. I'll turn 50. Uh, no. Oh, God. I'm just saying, if you need anything, you let, you let me know, man. I got lots. Yeah. Lots right now I give. think I'm doing okay. All right. Mm hmm. Oh no, I don't know how to do this. I've never, ever, ever done this, so... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're doing, yep. so... <laughs> what have you never done? Um, I've never... never oh. oh my god, I got She's never done now. war. She's never done I've war. I've never done war with Canada. I got meagering, and there's like leftover lamb from a roast <laughs> and it's in the meeg ring <laughs> so cursed meeg what the meeg, meeg ring? like you guys don't have meeg ring yeah no. like, really? noodles noodles well, you guys don't have meeg ring right what no what what oh, i'm so sorry they're I'm the so best sorry. noodles they're indonesian noodles yeah indonesian 
And you I would have ramen. like two minute noodles, you know, two minute noodles. Yeah, ramen. Yeah. Ramen. Yeah, like ramen noodles. Um, yeah, it's like that, but it's Indonesian. Yeah, that's yum. Sim it is in America? a staple oh. sim chow, yes. I don't even know what sim chow is. You can ask Garlic the... Broth what that means. That is a different name in America? Not in Canada. We're, I guess, deprived of that, whatever what, of that, what, what that is. Is is a spearman a melee unit? Uh, anti yeah, it, it, yes, yeah, it counts. An it's anti cavalry, yeah. but it, it works with the battering ram, if that's what okay. you're wondering. Meow. <laughs> Meow? What? Yeah, it's uh, my battle call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what goes through my yeah. mind is like, like I, maybe your chat knows that's your battle call, but like none of us had any idea. <laughs> what you're doing. No, yeah. You will establish that I'm a weirdo today. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, we already we already knew that. It's fine. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow, Nastagus, you been walls there, buddy? I am. <laughs> okay, good. I am on my way, sir. I'm on my way. Yeah, so they're both trying to get to me to attack I'm me. Coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I have I have some units. I'm on my John way. the Con, you actually have to cook Simchow in the bathwater. Yes, that's the only way it can can evolve to being that very specific meal. Oh, bath! Oh, Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, hey, before this whole <laughs> war starts, because we're on simultaneous turns, uh, I'm just gonna go use the uh, restroom. So, all right. Okay. Yeah. So Very how sensible. war works in multiplayer, uh, at least in this case, is that everybody goes at the same time. So if you click first, you go first. Okay. So there's no like turn. The, oh, it's my turn. Okay, here comes all my units. Oh, it's your turn. Oh no, you're killing all my units. Oh my god. No, it's like like just mm. savage. Just like beat down until you're dead. All right, I'm ready. Not really. I'm not really Wait, ready. How long but... have we got on our announcement? Now, oh, we don't even have to announce. We could have just declared on the creed to begin with. Yeah, you could have just declared war on me. Yeah, yeah. Um... You can surprise war on me, and then you war on the Stagmus in turn. No. Um... <laughs> Actually, if he's gonna go to the toilet, I might go to the toilet again. Yeah, I'm gonna eat Ugh. my food. Your what do you call it again? Uh, <laughs> Migoreng. Simp chow, but. Migoreng. Yeah, migoreng. Migoreng. Yeah, we only have ramen here. But, like, mm. I like ramen. Ramen's, like, one of my favorite foods. Like, not like the instant noodle, but, like, if you get go to, like, an actual, like, place that makes fresh oh. ramen. Oh. Yeah, fresh ramen. Hello. Oh, best. What is life? Love have you, uh, fresh ramen. Have you traveled anywhere? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yes, Where I have, have traveled to Japan. Okay, yes, I have. Uh, had I, mean, I was going to ask where your favorite place was, but it, you know, okay, that's, you can assume that. That's fine. Oh, my favorite place to travel is Japan, hundred percent. I want to live there now. I want to go to like me and me and my fiance really want to go to Japan so badly, but it's way mm -hmm. less accessible for us than it is for you, I think, because it's for you, it's just north. Really? And I feel like it's not so bad. Yeah, that's true. ours is like it's, it's like the complete right opposite now. side of the world. So there you go. It's yeah. Tough. Everything else is the opposite side of the world for me, except for Japan. And I guess other countries <laughs> like New Zealand and China. Oh, Europe! I, oh, Europe China. is all the way north for you too, so that's tough. Yeah. Have you gone to Europe? Um, Any place in Europe? Yeah, I've been to Greece, Italy. Oh, I guess so. Hungary. <laughs> um, France. <laughs> I've been. In, I've been everywhere, man. Um, what about you? I've only been to Germany, Austria. Czech Republic and then the States. Oh. I've been to Disney World. It's fun. <laughs> Czech Republic? Yeah. I went to Prague. It was really cool. cool. Actually the fa that was the best part of the trip. And I was also the most like uh unexpected, I guess. Like we went to like the Black Bridge, I think it's called. Yeah. Like the the bridge with like all these huge statues all all the way down the bridge. It was crazy. So underappreciated. Oh. If you go to Europe, mm. go to Prague. Really, really good, really good town. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. 
Cool. That's where Kingdom Come Deliverance was made, developed. Was it really? Yeah, in the Czech Republic. Oh, I did not know that. Nystagmus got yep. more Pringles? Oh, jeez, Nystagmus. He's, he's, that's his battle food. <laughs> right. It's gamer fuel, man. Pringles. Pringles and Mountain Dew, I bet. You Mountain Dew? Mm. No. What's Nystagmus? the best way to go about this? It's such a, yeah. um, an awkward landscape. Um, with someone in chat asking up uh, in Europe, you, a lot of places you can get by with just English. Oh. They, a lot of people Try speak English in Europe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're they're like hundred percent cultured in Europe, and they speak more. Everybody speaks multiple languages. <laughs> yeah, I know. I met a girl that speaks like six languages, and I'm like. <laughs> felt so shit as a human being I only <laughs> one. right right that'd be cool i'd love to learn six languages i tried learning cool. some other languages at one point but i'm too uh mm -hmm. bad at sticking to things so i didn't stick to it <clears throat> but i tried well, learning japanese for a while like... japanese is similar to moldy so hmm. oh is that's about levels of scale right like if you live in france you're about if you live in paris you're about three hours away from five different languages. That's true. Yeah. That's right. True. So like it just makes sense that a lot of Europeans are raised to knowing multiple languages. Switzerland itself has like three languages that are mainly spoken in within its borders. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, uh, I guess it's just like proximity and like your um engagement with that language like how frequently you come across it they would come across it all the time yeah all right so if it was Whereas taking you so long really yeah what am i doing <laughs> how do i how do i attack a city without having any melons oh okay heck and bean um oh my God, is, she is that do it? i don't know if i can Click on like the city. You or, or, or if you wanted to declare war now, click on one of click on me or one of my cities yeah, and just say I... surprise war. Mm -hmm. Don't declare war on them. No, okay. no, 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 no. They're all, she's, no, she's Australia. We, she wants this. She wants this. Don't fall for this trap. <laughs> I think you, you got to let her do it. Her. You got to make her do it. No, 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 no. You need you need to help her out. <laughs> all right. Watch oh, out. War. Oh shoot! Oh my god, they actually did, did it. it. <gasps> Savages. Okay. Coming. <laughs> How to attack a city. What does a battering ram do? You just have it next to your... Yeah. Have it next to the city. And then your... Your people... All the units next to that city will uh, forego walls. Yeah. Okay. Now, the battering ram makes you do full damage to walls, doesn't it? Yeah, Isn't full it damage to walls. Isn't tower that lets you... Completely? Yes, correct. So cavalry and horses don't get affected by battering rams. I'll tell you this right now because I didn't know this when we first played and I played Mongolia and I looked like an idiot. So yep. don't look like an idiot. I'm telling you now. If you complain about it later, then I'm going to laugh in your face. But you've okay. been warned. You've been fairly warned. <clears throat> I'm probably oh. going to lose all my... Oh, People's you have to play this butt. turn. She's taking Halifax. She she hit Halifax. Yeah, that's my yeah, little. But it's with the quadream, right? The quadream can't like take the city. No, it cannot. But what it's if quadrim. I was to swoop in uh, <laughs> with a melee unit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. she's yeah. gonna she's yeah. gonna take it with that scout that you can see. So yeah, the scout is a horseman the here. Just come in. Yeah. Oh, oh, Maybe. oh, oh not, not if she moves, not if she moves right. like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't take it now. But I gotta Pearly. destroy Halifax first, don't I? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do, you do. Okay. What if I coerced the volcano god to spew forth onto Heck and Bean? If you had... Oh, wait, we've got Gathering Storm. No. So, that's far, man. Snow. That's three tiles away, man. That is far. 
Mate, if we had Apocalypse mode on, we could forest fire the hell out of Hicken Bean. <laughs> yeah. That's like all forests. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. That would be some um, crazy, crazy energy to, to do that to you. Crazy, violent energy. All right. You guys declared war on the world. You guys are the enemies, the warmongers. All right. Oh, oh. we have Toa here. Oh, Nystagmus, they're coming in on the east. <laughs> Can my support units not stack on her tiles? No. Oh, that's lame. You need to have your own support units. Ah! Fuck! You need to get the heckin' bean out. <laughs> that guy is strong. Look at them go. They're bold. They're bold. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need some swordsmen. He has like Toa coming. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I guess I'll get some more gold. Actually, I'll change governments to oligarchy. <laughs> now I'm coming. Now I'm coming. Uh oh. Use your um, use your gold to buy units. Okay. Sophie. Oh yeah, I just realized I got lots of money now. Um. All right. Good idea. I'm gonna buy this guy. Oh, hello. And I'm gonna buy. That's it. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Butterfinger, that's funny. What are the cavalry units good against? Ranged and siege. Mm -hmm. And melee. And they ignore zone of control, which is really good. Nay, mother foops. Floops. I was going to say mother effer, but I didn't. <laughs> Just say it. Just say it. It's fine. Okay. Nay, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you. Sounds way better. <laughs> way more natural. Yeah. Yes. What? Do people in Canada not naturally say floops? Floops? Not unless we're watching like Spy flutes? Kids. <laughs> Spy Kids. <laughs> yeah, that's a flashback, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's a random question that has nothing to do with Civ or what sure. we're doing right now. But um, what's uh, when you say like Canadian cuisine or Australian cuisine, right? Uh, what is the foods that come to mind? Obviously, you've got poutine. You just told us about poutine. Mm -hmm. But what else? What else do you guys have? Ketchup chips. <laughs> Chip <laughs> chips. Uh, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah, that's true. Somebody what else asked got? this in my chat a little while ago about easy, and I was like, um, fish and uh, chips. <laughs> ma yeah, maple syrup. And I don't know. I'll be honest with you. What's Australia got? You got multiculturalism. Uh, we just have a bunch of multiculturalism. Meat yeah, pies. That's what, that's what, what about meat pies? Every yeah, meat, pies, meat pies. Meat pies is also what I said. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, meat pies, marmite, and... Marmalade. That's New Zealand food. That's New Zealand, yeah. Veg Vegemite. Vegemite. Marmalade, marmite. Vegemite. Marmite. I heard that New Zealanders have marmite instead of Vegemite, and that yeah. is just disgrace to our friendship and alliance no vegemite vegemite, vegemite is legitimately disgusting no, is it delicious is as hell. Not. no um the uk <laughs> also has promite as well which is really similar what the that's heck? just yeah just try it they're just trying to be something they're not <laughs> vegemite <laughs> <laughs> 
Aren't they all just disgusting and they're basically replacements for something that happened when Absolutely. during the war? They they were meant to replace like sugar or something? Yeah, it was like a vitamin thing, I think, actually. So why are you why why is it like a whole war of which is better? It's like which <laughs> which which shitty food is better? Vegemite? No, 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 no. Or whatever the other one was. Marmite? Marmite. Uh, Pe oh people my god. Le <laughs> people legitimately love Marmite here, including myself. There was a Marmite shortage um like I don't know, it might have been like 10 years ago now because of the Christchurch earthquakes and people were literally Set, uh, like, what do you call it? Scalping it? They were selling it on Trade Me, which is our version of like eBay or whatever. Yeah. Uh, at like ridiculously overpriced prices because people were so desperate to get their Marmite because the factory was about to run out of it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> people be addicted, man. Yep. Yeah. We love our Marmite. Oh, spear Spearman. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. that, that, that swordsman at sacrifice play that was worth it 100% worth it the sacrifice play that yeah, I your swordsman definitely is so dead planned. Um, his plan is he killed one of the battery rams and he's going to try to kill the other one uh oh because <laughs> it's not escorted oh there you go no, no, <laughs> I forgot about that battery Ew, ram Vegemite is <laughs> Nutella with a yeast infection Oh. No, Vegemite tastes nothing like this. No one, no one better make fun of Nutella, man. Nutella that. is is life. Do you guys, have, you guys have Nutella? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. That 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 is actual yum. Yeah, that slaps. I as the kids say. I, yeah, I literally when I was when I was younger, I used to sit there like if my parents were ever stupid enough to buy it, I would just eat it out of the actual container itself. <laughs> Sitting there with my finger just scooping it up. <laughs> Whoa. Oh shit, there goes my horseman. Fuck. Oh, welcome to war, Sophie. I know. You've done this, this is to yourself. War? You've done this oh. to yourself. <laughs> I know. Hmm. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, you need swordsman. Badly. Yeah, I do. I don't think I have the the research thing for it. Really? My bad. Ironworking? What have you? What are you researching? Oh, look. I'm, you I have so much science. <laughs> Actually, I'll be real. I don't have ironworking either. I don't need it, but I I don't have it either. Mm hmm. All right. It's all right, we got this. Yeah, we got in. Hundred percent. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading chat. <laughs> Tasty lump pie. like, what's wrong with putting butter on toast? And borderlines like, I don't think anyone wants Putin butter. <laughs> oh, Putin butter. Oh, some ladies do though. Well, hey, what's Putin butter? Uh, it's a joke because he spelled. Pudding without an N, so it's like Putin. Oh right, yep, Putin yep, butter. Yep, yep, like no yep. one wants Putin butter. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on beans on toast? Never had it. Like baked beans, baked beans on toast. Yeah, I guess. I eat baked beans on toast. Oh, baked, baked beans, beans on toast is the best. Yeah, Heinz is it? Beans. Yeah. Heinz beans. I've seen beans? Heinz beans in the store. I've never bought it in my life. You should buy it because I said so, not because <laughs> of any other reason. Okay, if you were to tell me how to how what how what can I do to make it taste good? <laughs> I put it on toast. That's your answer. Butter toast, toast butter, butter toast. So butter the toast, toast, butter, baked beans, <laughs> and then eat. Yes. Is it like breakfast or lunch? Yeah. Uh, it's breakfast. So heat up the beans in a bowl before you put them on the toast so your toast doesn't get soggy. If you if you heat up the beans on the toast in the microwave, your toast is going to get soggy. Okay. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So okay. You're gonna do them separate, then lay it, lay it out. And it doesn't matter if it spills over the edge of the toast. The whole idea is that you're, you're just like, use a knife and fork as well. It's going to get messy. 
Beans on toast with a fried egg on top. Very good. Hell yeah, garlic. Put in oh, an egg on top is like next level if you can handle that. Here's a question. Yeah, so comes off a person that can handle an egg on beans. So <laughs> they don't come out all out the can. Yeah, that's true. Oh god. At, I remember at like McDonald's, they were doing like the, these multicultural sandwiches. So they're introducing like different sandwiches from different places. Do you guys have like mm -hmm. fried eggs on hamburgers? Because they did Australia and it was just an egg on yep. a hamburger. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah that's normal. Is it at like a, a readily available at your McDonald's? Oh, like a like a bacon and egg McMuffin. No, no, like a hamburger. Yeah, I think it means on like an actual, on an actual burger. With an egg. Uh, I think we did have them for a little bit, but not for long. Like, you would probably find them more in like a, like a chip and, fish and chip fish shop. Fish and that chip shop, yeah. Burgers, rather than like in McDonald's. Oh, uh, okay. We have, we have egg on burgers at McDonald's here. Because uh, we've oh. got the kiwi burger, which has... Oh, kiwi burger, um, okay. Beetroot, lettuce, tomato, egg and meat like there's an actual song to remember what's in it but i can't remember how the song goes yeah i said that to my chat the other day you put beetroot on burgers and they're like what the heck is why would you put a beetroot on a burger okay, i mean i'm with your chat on that beetroot, beetroot on burgers is actually no beetroot? it's good what is a beetroot beetroot what is that? You don't know oh, what a beetroot beet is? Beetroot. I'm sorry. Like, uh, like beets. Nope. I think they just got called it, got beets. Got it. Got it. Got it. I heard. I heard right. beetroot. Well, I'm like, what's a beetroot? Beetroot. Got it. Never mind. Beet. Yeah. Oh, All right. Production. Oh yeah. I. I don't know. Beetroot. How do you say it? Beetroot. Yeah. Beetroot. Beet you say you know, beets. Beets. Put put beets. beets on a burger. Yeah. I was just say put beets. You know, canned or pickled beets. Very good. Pickled Very beets. Very delicious. Oh, I've yeah. never had pickled beets. Oh. It's like candy. Oh. Good. <laughs> it's like candy. <laughs> yeah, no, legit. I, that's not a meat. Yummy. That's like real. It tastes like candy. No, wait, it, yeah. So because it's sweet or because it's like candied? It's, it's pickled. It's not candied. It's <laughs> so, but it I'm, tastes like candy. Yes, it's pickled with <laughs> vinegar, like in a mason jar like how you would you know make pickles with cucumbers but you make them with beets okay yeah yeah okay, leave my okichita alone sir how dare you <laughs> he's gonna go on land and now you can't do anything about it oh, roasted beets i mean does that butter. matter if you're not yeah. helping in the fight hey right. oh oh what's a corsa uh an upgraded horseman so, like yeah oh hello Oh, 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 that's gonna... Oh, shit. Uh, Whoops. Do you have I got cores, a bit <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. This tag is I'm holding my ground here. Up behind, behind Heck and Bean. Do you want me to move, or do you want me to stay at Heck and Bean? <laughs> well, that warrior you have there? Yep. You can attack the Toa. Uh, I will not. He'll he'll attack me instead. I don't need to attack it if he just he can't he can't get by me. Why do I need to attack it? I'm gonna okay, lose yeah. and then I'll die. So I'm gonna yeah, fortify. I'll fortify. I'll fortify. Yeah, fortify as well. And I'll have, I have him archers. Then I have archers and walls coming out everywhere. So all right, all right, cool, 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 cool. cool. So I took out two of their battering rams. So that's great. Oh, I oh that, that one swordman took out two battering rams. What a hero. Yeah. What a hero. Before, because he, he retreated into the lake and then he came back out and took the battering ram. Oh, look at your quad dream over here. So cute, SG. So cute. Yes. Uh oh, SG. Watch out. Am Welcome I out of money? No. So scary. Yeah, if, if she actually has coursers, then yeah, that's bad for me. Okay. Um, you have you have any uh, spearmen <laughs> or like pikemen? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have spearmen and stuff. But okay. Okay. Still, like Moy's Moy's gonna support you from that little island that he. That's how he's gonna help. He's gonna sit on an island, watching as you die. <laughs> Can he's too scared one. to come past the boats. Oh, yeah, it doesn't sound bad at all. I'm not scared. I'm I just scared. said how she. 
she must have beelined it for Corsairs because like we've both researched more than her. Man, Cor yeah, she said she was getting cancelled. Yeah, she did say that. I had that. a very specific task. Wait, she also said that she didn't have iron working. She's clearly lied to you. Well, I've got one turn until iron working. Can you say you've got horses? Mm. We have coursers? That makes zero right. sense. I thought well, horses. What I'm... Thing? Oh, coursers don't need. Wait, no. they don't need ironworking. I thought they needed ironworking first. Apparently they not. Do. You need to research ironworking in order to get to castles. I'm producing. Wait, a no. Castle. Apparently, apparently you don't, because I can click on castles. What? I got castles. Oh, you can bypass make... iron. What? <laughs> yeah, hey, we're right. learning here. Oh, no. she... On my iron tech tree. Yeah, iron work. You need iron working to get the castles. No, you That's need what it iron working like. to get no. the machinery. You don't need iron working to get into castles. Yeah. So if, if you, you look at if you, if you highlight over iron working. Mhm. Mm oh wait, no, it doesn't. That doesn't add up. Never mind. I have one that my iron working has a line that goes straight from iron working all the way to castles. No, yeah, it actually same. goes down into machinery. Yeah. Oh, so that's the line a, is the coming from construction. Yeah, the way it's drawn is weird. Then, huh? Yeah. 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 It's not very clear. I so was um, construction needed before castles? Well, at the yeah, moment, I got one is... turn into iron working, and I got the courser before then. So, I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna beeline it for machinery. You she's need to build courser. I'll build crossbowmen. <laughs> and she's actually oh super God. pro at multiplayer. Yeah, and she knew these hidden ticks that we don't know, and now yeah. she's tricked you into giving her a head start as well. It's what you get. <laughs> I'm <dissimating> me. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, I'm gonna change up my government here real quick, Nystagmus. To what? Put, putting on my tryhard pants on. Uh, I don't know, just stuff. Wow, a lot of things built at the same time. All right, I'll show you. Scared of your boats? Take. Oh wait, you have an um, admiral. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why can't okay, I so upgrade way. in... Can I not upgrade my allies' territory? Man, I do not know how to play this. Uh, I don't think so, no. That sucks. That really sucks. Goodbye. Okay. Well, you know I showed you that, um, that picture of my zombie game? Yeah. Yeah, there's an island south of my capital that's just like oh, that. Oh shit, well. that did nothing. <gasps> like right yeah. now, it's just full of barbarians everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I'm the talking walls to went up. The walls went up. Yeah, I have my walls now, and I'm just I'm just building archers, and I'm gonna upgrade all of them to crossbowmen. Oh, no, <laughs> no. That's my defensive strategy. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Fucking okay. And uh, when he lands his Toa on the other side here, I just have archers behind my swordsmen that are fortified. I'm just going to take pot shots at them. <laughs> no! Yes, yes. That is, that is my defensive strategy. Okay? Let them learn the way. Yeah, you're teaching me Corsairs the way. Can be crossbows. So, Corsairs can be crossbows, but I'm using them as my city defense, right? So... Like, I need my ranged units, and the more ranged units I build, or stronger ones I build, the better my city defense shot is as well. So that's that's my reason for doing that. Yeah, so, so your defense is like, re has gone up big time. <laughs> yeah. So the better your ranged units are, the better your cities and your encampments will, will do. But I also have to find out uh, how far I am from encampments as well. Okay. But you don't have any hammocks? No, I don't. Oh my god. Bronze working? You don't have bronze working? Oh wait, I do. Wait. Then I must what? be able to build them in it. Oh no, okay, that's the reason why. Okay. Uh I just I ate up my city di districts. That's uh, why. Before they, I was about to they say, dude. I was like, wow, you're really behind. And I'm also um like building a bunch of units because I didn't have a lot. Yeah. I'm building units as well. I am mm -hmm. rushing over there. Oh, I forgot about my quad dream. Yeah, Oops. if your galleys can just, you know, blockade the coast so that the uh, Maori can't just move his units onto my side there, that'd be great. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I got you. I got you. Let's make them pay for this war, you know? They no. They've got more on us. No. 
Yeah. I just want to say it wasn't me, it was all her. <laughs> we dragged no New Zealand into another war. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um... Oh no. Oh no. My quadrireme! No! Rip. Oh, rip. Okay, uh, how crap. do I... Uh, I'm moving back, I'm moving back, I'm moving back. <laughs> I won't let him in. Retreat, retreat. Oh, so much more happening. What? All right. So at least they have to funnel through these mountain passes. Yeah, yeah. that's what's fucking me up. <laughs> the moment. Yeah, she thinks it's I'm so useless. Awkward. Meanwhile, take that, SG. You have to go through the passes, dummy. Yeah, he's got a crazily good defended capital. Wait, I is that his capital? No, that's not his capital. What's the capital of Nandawa? Oh, right. No, that's right. It got renamed. Oh. Um, well, that was really confusing. Oh, I was like, we changed the a city called Nardwa? <laughs> Nardwa, yeah. <laughs> um, how are we going to do this? No. Oh, gosh. No, I'm going to get messed up. All oh, of yeah. my people. Pick and Beans are crazy good defensive city. Jungles uh -huh. and forests everywhere and mountains just surrounding it. Yep. We can't siege it. Ah! I dropped my chopstick. Yeah, and then once my archer that's being built there is completed, I'm going to build an encampment next to it. Okay. Thank you for telling me your plans. <laughs> he does that. He does do that. <laughs> right. Well, I, I'm doing it also for the stream, so people don't like, tell me I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do you do this? I'm like, this is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I like that. It's teaching me too. Yeah, it's all good fun. We're having fun, guys. Never. Yeah, we're having fun, even though. I'm Holy gonna... archers, bro! Oh my! I told wow. you, man. <laughs> oh no, I don't like. Okay, I'm gonna protect your campus. I'm gonna protect your campus. Wait, where did his boat go? Where did your boat go? What? You have to be adjacent to it to see it. Do I? No, I don't. It's a galley. <laughs> what the heck are you trying to pull on me, boy? Oh no. How to undo every single move that you've had. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch. Him. Oh, yeah, that archer was uh, that archer was misclicked. I didn't mean to do that. And I think a good encampment will be. No, <laughs> no. Oh my god, dude, he's got so many boats. Now he's got so many boats. <laughs> Why are there so many boats? Yeah, I'm trying to um, come help you, Sophie, but... Yeah, it's Somebody's okay. fighting me on the seas. Oh, jeez. Yeah. We've got a naval battle happening. I got this the seas, time. Nystagmus. Are you sure you you were you were complaining about the number of boats that I temporarily have the seas nystagmus. I am unsure if I can hold the seas nystagmus. <laughs> can you uh you know get a message and stick to it? <laughs> Things are okay. Things aren't okay. Things are actually disastrous. We're all gonna die. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm retreating on the seas, Nystagmus. <laughs> oh no. Can I go? I can't go across that mountain. Wow. Wow. 
I have to go around this damn naval fleet. Hold on. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hold on a second. Are you talking about your um, spearmen? Nominee. Nominee. Yo. Is there a chance that you could leave a gap between the land and the sea just hey. near the cone of Sax? To Sax? To Sax? Okay. Those, so are, those boats in front of you? They're yeah, not they're not mine. Okay, fuck. Yeah. Right, I'm getting out of there. <laughs> <laughs> the blue okay. boats are mine. Those it's are mine. definitely that, not me blocking your way. That's a very smart move. It's alright, I'm going to okay. deal with them. No, oh. leave them alone. <laughs> but leave I don't know how... Alone. I don't know how we're going to take a city. We don't have that kind of power. Okay. Oh, we didn't mm -hmm. <gasps> Freaking hell! Oh. I am oh. so stupid. Oh. Ow. Ow. When it comes to the actual warfare part, oh damn it! Too too quick. Oh no. That's that's how I feel about an anime. Anime. I'm just calling you anime. <laughs> I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's too quick. To, to anime now. It's too quick. No, yeah. he killed my. He killed my warrior. Or <laughs> <Nystagmus. laughs> I'm trying. So All I think, right. uh, Sophie, you're gonna have to mm -hmm. pull your units out and just build up a force again before you go back in. Yeah. Because okay. the walls have changed. The walls have changed right. a lot in this fight. Let's do that. Cool, cool. Maybe get some courses going. Yeah, the courses. Thank you for the tip, sir. Uh, <clears throat> sir. Sir. <laughs> How much to purchase a quad ream? Two hundred and forty. Okay. That is a good plan. No, don't listen to me. I give bad advice. It's not how that works. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Back in hometown. Let's get stuff happening. So I need courses. What can I purchase? I can. Ooh. I've got that much coin. That's a lot. Another quadrarium. I'd Oh yeah, that is a pretty impressive fleet going back there, huh? So Moy, I think maybe you just focus on ships. I'll try to focus on land defense. That's what I've been doing. That's what I've been trying to do. Just focus on my ships. Because <laughs> I think uh, I think it's all I can offer you right now. That's fine. All right. One, two, three. The good news is, even if he has a fleet. He is falling in science and culture. So the longer this goes on, no. the worse he's going to get. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is that is kind of true. Although so, I get a massive boost to culture in the Renaissance. So you yeah. should like back off, boy. Go away. What's I'll this consider video? it. My pal foot. Oh my I gosh. I think, um... I think Nystagmus. <laughs> Nystagmus? No, man. Now you've confused me with saying people's names. Nystagmus? Uh, Nystagmus, yeah. yeah. Nystagmus. I think, I think Nystagmus is about to donate me some science as well. No! The people are all about learning about foreign <laughs> cultures, you know? <laughs> Nystagmus, I'm sorry. I can't do anything. I'll... Bash my head in his face if I have to, I guess. Oh, I really chose the wrong thing there. Okay. Whoops. Oh, man. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Give me a land. Ow. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these boats. Get away. Go back to Rockhampton. You can go back to Perth. All right. Retreat! 
tactic it's a tactical retreat okay the minute you oh think God. that i am weak and retreating is the moment that i'll attack with full force oh so scary brr, brr. <laughs> Spinal tap. All right, so four turns away from. Both is my back time. Keep season three. <laughs> That's so silly. I know spinal tap. I've heard of them. Spinal tap. They turn it up to eleven. Yeah, man. They're like a punk band, right? <laughs> No? Hold on. Am I wrong? <laughs> no. Yes, you are wrong. Psychedelic pop band. It's a oh. British heavy metal band. Oh, really? oh yeah. English heavy you metal band. Okay. Created Wait. by American comedians. Okay. Oh, comedians. Uh. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this video. All right. <laughs> The numbers all go up to 11. Special because if you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to 11. Look, right. The last person to make fun of Sophie has never been found. Most of 11 and then go up to 10. Does that mean it's well, it's one, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. See, most most blokes are playing. What's happening? You're on 10 here, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. You're on 10 on your guitar. Where can you go from there? I need more amenities. I don't know where exactly. What we do is if we haven't even developed the wheel yet, you know what we do. Put it up to 11. 11, exactly. <laughs> One lamb. Why don't you just make... They all go up to 11. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. They're just like this. It, it is a funny show. I recommend. Upon. <laughs> well, that's a lot of uh, Kree units there. Huh? I'm doing my part. At least trying to. I am smart. SMRT. Arctic laser, I thank you for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Okay, can you? Right. Oh my god, Maori, please. Like, oh my, Maori, oh my god, Maori. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, how many units do you have, bro? Do you what? need a hand on the seas? I do, yes. Can you send some units? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send some units to him. <laughs> I'll, send, I'll bring you more units, don't you worry. Actually, wait, oh, no, wait, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> I got lots coming for you, boy. No. I hate to get no. Oh, there's a quiet room? Okay. Put that there. Let's put that there. Okay, I'm gonna need I a forgot chart. about my, um, I did forget about my pause. Oh, no! <gasps> so die. Get out of there! Get out of there! Man, it's really hard trying to decide which units need to attack first every turn. I know, I know. Right? It's like super confusing not being able to just. That's why, and like, every... it's it's easier for me because I only have three cities, right? So I I know exactly what prioritize first, right? Mm. <laughs> the one getting attacked. Yo, uh, laser. Uh, we played. This is our second game because I didn't settle for 19 first. turns and then got killed by Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> so I settled on like turn two this time. <laughs> Foot lover, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. <laughs> I love Foot that you lover. Didn't play the first word. I don't know. Just that. That's like if you say all three of them, then that sounds weird. Then it's too specific, you know. <laughs> Wait, too what was the first specific. one? Was Auss Aussie foot lover. Aussie, Aussie oh, I've foot. seen that dude before. Oh, oh my god, Mark. have you? I, I'm sure I mean, I've seen that dude before. Your channel. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not from my channel. I think it's. You're the only Australian here. Let's. let's... <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Darwin. Appreciate it. My question is: Are you an American? 
Are you an Australian that loves feet or an American that lo specifically loves Australian feet? Yes, this is what I remember. This is why I remember that name because I remember seeing him clarify <laughs> that before. Yeah. Really? Everyone... <laughs> yeah. That's a good question, though. Why did I send my fucking battering ram into your territory? <laughs> oh my I god, he actually that. was from my channel, rip. <laughs> Wait yeah. a second. What are you oh doing with your battering ram? Nominate. Huh? Nominate. Ozzy Footlove has been in your channel. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Ozzy. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Ozzy. 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 Ozzy Footlove. <laughs> I'm building up my own Navy there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, honestly, I, uh, how do I know this person? They're an American who loves Aussie feet. Aussie feet. <laughs> Not an Aussie who loves feet. I mean, hey, own, uh, own up to it, I guess. Oh, I got, the, I got it off. I got it off. Good. All right, good. now I'm going to stand here. Don't worry. Oh, nice work. Yeah. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. You are totally blocking my great scientist. Am I? I. Yeah. I'm now moved. <gasps> Don't worry. Oh God, retreat! What? I didn't. What is that noise? What is that noise? Me <laughs> me. Oh, it's a, it's a bird. Yeah, it's a bird. That's a bird. Yeah, it's probably a cockatoo. Oh yeah. Do you have a pet cockatoo, or is that like a wild? Wild cockatoo? bird, everywhere. What? That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I had a kookaburra, a baby kookaburra, in my backyard the other day. I'm so jealous right now. You know what I get? I get a friggin' seagull. A seagull. A or seagull. A squirrel. A squirrel? I see squirrels all the time. That's cool. We don't have That's squirrels. really cool. We don't have squirrels here either. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see a squirrel. Yeah, take that. You have squirrels. Yeah, that's something to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have run. many when, when squirrels run it looks like a sine wave and it's like really smooth it runs like this oh it's yeah kind of cool. yeah I don't, it's cute. if you don't know what I'm talking about look it up it's, it's cool trust the way they run is cute cute as heck oh oh wow what's you up you run like full try hard chopping <laughs> walls dude I, you're coming in I can't let you come in What's, what, what, are you, what am I going to do? Not chop my walls? Psh, get the heck out of my land, boy. Dude, yeah, I have never I used a builder to chop things in my life. Oh, you definitely it's, should. You definitely I should. I know I should. It's just too complex. Chop, here's me. a pro tip. Chop every tree that's on a hill. But I'm the moldy. That would be bad. We don't do that. Oh, okay. If you're Maori, you can't even chop. I don't even know if you can <laughs> chop trees. But... Chop every tree that's on a hill. I think I figured out the other day you can, but you can't chop resources. Oh no, maybe, oh, yeah. no, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't harvest the resources, but you can chop trees. Ah, uh, so you couldn't chop like that stone I just chopped, but you can chop trees. Okay. I think so. Ah. Uh. Which kind of makes sense. Maldives were really big into deforestation at one point in time. Really? They, really? Yep. All right. Yep. yep. First encampment's up. Little known fact, because we like to uh, talk about the fact that we're really big into preserving everything now, which we are. Yeah. But pre uh, settlement, they were chopping down trees all over the country. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> I had no idea. But you like, I guess, with like new technologies that are introduced and like sciences that. Um, like the culture adapted and like moved away from that practice, right? Mm. So that's good. I mean, in, um... in, in, in a very small way, that is good. <laughs> but you have in a other... galley in the middle of the ocean. Do I? You do. Where is it? I'm trying to, um, <laughs> yeah, reconnaissance. <laughs> oh, someone wants to make peace in me? I guess it'd Who's be, uh, I guess it'd be Mr. Canada. Edmund? I can make peace. Canada's all about their peace. How do you feel about that nominee? Doesn't New Zealand have a 
50 mile protected area around a specific mountain? Yeah. There's tons of protected lands here. Um, yeah, the Milford Sounds is like uh, vastly unexplored as well, which is in this game, I'm pretty sure. But I think it's under the Moldy name. But I can't remember what the Moldy name for the Milford Sounds is. Now, Mene, would you like to make peace or continue our reign of terror? How terrorizing do you think our reign is? <laughs> well, you have, you have, like, you can't, you have we half an hour, you have about half an hour left. Is that half an hour left? Oh, God. All right. So we might as well. Jamming out. Mean, what does jamming out mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just made it up. Uh, <laughs> play it and see what we get play to. Play it out. <laughs> yeah. We play out the war or piece it up. Piece and no, try and break something up. Okay, let's play just, it out. Let's just, let's just slaughter them. Oh, bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Let's see how it plays <laughs> out. It probably won't. No. <laughs> I'll be very, I'll be very surprised if you can take one city. I would also be very surprised if we can take one city. Maybe we can take right. a city though. You? I don't know. Maybe. I'd be surprised if we could, but maybe. You could take out of my cities for sure, if you're uh, sneaking up on me without me noticing. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Hmm. All right, hmm. Just, are, we, are we pushing with those with all of those archers, man? There's <laughs> so many archers. What? I know. So many. My arrows will blot out the sun. Okay, do you want to blot out the sun? <laughs> I love it. Of Rockhampton, like. <laughs> is Rockhampton on the coast? It is. Ooh. Did something actually cause the Aussie bushfires? The ones that happened last year? Oh, I thought it was just the. I thought that was like just the normal climbing. Aussie bus full bushfires. Yeah, I mean, climate change is a big aspect to that. Mm. But um, also, like, people, like, were lighting fires on purpose. Yeah. Like, uh, what are they called? Litter bugs or whatever? Or yeah. Fire bugs, sorry. We got um, we got an orange day from you guys from that. It was, like, creepy as hell. Oh, Which yeah. You, you guys had tons of those. But we woke up one mm -hmm. orange everywhere. And I was like, whoa! Yup, it was bad. Um, I we were like, I was in my house for weeks, and it was like all, an old house, and I would literally have to just walk around my house. Like I know th this was before COVID. Like and obviously masks weren't a part of my life at that stage, <laughs> but to like before COVID to have the mask, and it would be like the thickest smog. Like you just couldn't breathe inside your house. It was like, wow, you know, there was smoke everywhere. It was pretty bad, but. Oh. Then you, COVID hit. <laughs> do you guys have to? Do you guys wear masks in Australia? Um, not where I am. Um, in New South Wales, it's so no, not no. We don't. We don't have to anymore. In Melbourne, it got bad, and so I think they still have to wear a little like masks in shopping centers and stuff. But no, we have it really good. Obviously, mm. here. I can't imagine what it would be like to be in America right now or like in some places in Europe. Canada. <laughs> Canada. Yeah, we're, we're, going through our, Canada. we're going through a third wave right now, so. Really? Oh. Yeah, and then Ontario just went into a, a another lockdown. I so. didn't un I didn't realize which cities were affected. I thought maybe only um Toronto was affected or something yeah. like that. But <clears throat> uh BC we we've, we've gone up to the highest yeah. uh daily case counts since the beginning of the pandemic. Oh and my gosh. they just had new restrictions on in-person dining, but we just had a story of someone in Vancouver, some mm -hmm. restaurant, and they just they opened up despite the uh, health orders. And um when the RCMP went there with the health authority, um, people chanted get out get out and then they cheered when they got the health authority to leave what? <gasps> oh no oh my wow that's so strange oh. it had different countries like are, are responding to it are we uh, have had protests as well though 
we were like, having yeah. some too. Uh, towns that are like heavily locked down, they've been pro protesting, but yeah, wow. Why do you think it's been such an issue for Canada? Like, um, um, oh man, why? Well, we, we kind of have, yeah, we, we kind of have like it all depends on like the different responses, right? So in Europe and mm. Canada, the United States, the United States kind of didn't really have a response, but um, a lot of us tried to have, have our cake and eat it too kind of thing, where okay. it's like, we didn't, like when people talk about lockdowns in Canada, like we didn't really have a lockdown, right? Okay. We had mitig we had mitigation, we had mitigation um, effects, but really, you know, except for certain activities, you didn't really have like a, a hard lockdown. Um, mm. Whereas like New Zealand and Australia in some areas, you guys would have like what I would actually call a lockdown. Um, yeah. And so we tried to have like this idea where we didn't put too many restrictions on people, but this halfway kind of course kind of, I guess, uh, didn't have the best yeah. effect. But mm -hmm. to be honest, um, we also got like the longest undefended border in the world with the United States. Right. Um, the amount of goods that travel across that border every day is like huge. So mm. it what 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 New Zealand did was really just not a reality for us. Mm. Yeah. Like, like for example, New Zealand, you really only have to control the airports, right? That's like your point of entry into the country. Whereas Canada, yeah, we have like a three thousand mile long border. It is right. Um, that's just a lot harder for that to happen, and so now. I think right now there's a lot of people who are just going through a lot of like fatigue as well with the uh with the restrictions. Yeah, definitely. And that's fair. Yeah. I can't imagine well, Nothing that's a lie actually. I really Nothing enjoyed being in lockdown. Nothing but <laughs> imagine for <laughs> I did, honestly, I was I was loving it. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the first two weeks. But Yeah. It's getting on my nerves a bit. But you're like it was, month um, off to month, then it would drive me insane. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know. I think after a month, it would drive people nuts. Mm -hmm. Like people oh, go nuts Paul. just having to go into quarantine here if they get um, the ones that are coming into the country after they've been in quarantine for like a week. Oh, and yeah. just start trying to force their way out. Like we get breakouts all the time. Mm -hmm. People literally just like jump the fence and stuff to try well, and escape the quarantine. In Canada, we instituted a new quarantine rule too, but the the problem was that they kind of made it a rule, but then they gave no enforcement guidelines to police, and so people just like walked out of the airport without going to like the the, oh, the no. hotels and stuff. Uh, yeah. Same with like the the restaurant in Vancouver recently, the one I just said, right? Like, if your response is to kind of like tell, show up and tell people to do it, and then they don't do it, and then you just walk away. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's kind of hard to like enforce it, right? If there's really no enforcement. So. Yes. Yeah, here we're in. Uh, we get enforcement through public shame. So <laughs> oh you, yeah. Uh, that's literally what happened. Like when we were in lockdown, uh, there was like a couple of people that got like really famous for breaking the lockdown and doing really stupid things. And literally the entire country turned on those people and they're like, you guys are dickheads. How dare you? How dare you go out and break protocol? Of course, one of them was our was one of our political. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there you go. In Texas, I don't know if you heard, it's like he said, like, no traveling. Everybody stay in your homes. Then he went to Mexico. It's like, oh no! <laughs> I think that, no, that's uh, rude. Is that right, Mr. Douglas? Ted Cruz? No, that was something different. So was it? that okay. wasn't because of COVID. He got nailed for that because Texas was hit with like a cold snap, and like none of their power oh, grid is right. My bad. Winterized, and so he like senator. So Ted Cruz is just a senator from Texas. He's not like an actual Texas like. Um, pol he's a politician from Texas for the federal government, but he like mm -hmm. just. He just like left. He just like went to Cancun, like in the middle of like of a disaster, essentially in Texas. Oh. Do you guys get snow in Australia? Yeah, we do. Um, 
but it's like really shitty snow. <laughs> it's crazy to do it all. But we get it. We get it. Mm. And like, yeah, you can go skiing and it's just not fluffy and soft. It's very hard and most Basically. of it is like made. That's the same as the snow here for the most part. It's like really, really? shitty water. <laughs> So if you were to get um, like an inch of comes. snow on the ground and it stays on the ground, is that like a, is like a oh my god kind of moment or is that normal? Yes. Um, we got snow like very close to us in like in the countryside this past winter and like people were going nuts taking photos with it on the side of the road. We <laughs> drove through like a blizzard. We've never done that before. Like it wasn't even a blizzard. I would say that it would not have been a blizzard for you guys, but um, it was nuts. So it's exciting. I hope that it starts snowing more and more in Australia. Oh no, no, don't wish that. Don't you're <laughs> you're gonna regret that so much. Oh no. Wait, did we make peace? It... What? No, no, no peace. peace. No. Don't worry. Never we mind. Make peace if you want. No, I'm good. <laughs> Australian blizzards are like five centimeters. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's funny, but it's true. No, yeah, we get a lot more than that. We get, like, feet. Hey, I live in British Columbia. That's, like, Canada on, like, easy mode when it comes to winter, right? Like, true. Well, well, no, uh, actually, the, the, interior, the interior gets a lot of snow and it gets cold, but, like, in the lower mainland, like, it snowed, like, once this year. Yeah, see what power is it? Power? Yeah. I don't know how to say this person's name. Saying. Well, what they're saying, Pavel. Oh. Yeah. So what they're saying is exactly what I would wish for. Snow. Like, I'd love to have snow in uh, for Christmas because you always see like the white Christmas. Yeah. In yeah, movies right. and stuff, and it's yeah. it's literally summertime in Christmas uh, over here. So we That's have so like strange. So strange. barbecues and beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our Christmas. It's like, yeah, and Aussie summer is a good experience. I like Aussie New Zealand summer. Like you, yeah, we have like seafood and like uh, pavlova, I don't know, beach vibes happening. Um, oh, but yeah, pavlova, pav's delicious. Love pavlova is delicious. That's how, like but a, then, your, how cold are your winters? House. They're probably like minus four is like the worst for me, I think. Okay, I don't it's even not know terrible. if it's that cold okay. here. They're not cold at all. I love winter. Same. Have you been cool. to New Zealand during summer, Sophie? No, I haven't. I really want to go there now. And I was going to go there for the snow, but now you've told me it's like shit, so I'm not going to go there. For the <laughs> oh, snow. it's probably, nah, it's probably good in like, uh, I don't know where the, where the snow place is. There's a, there's a place where like everyone goes on the mountain. Yeah. I don't know what it's oh, called, I though. But I've only, uh, like, I've only been to the snow in like a couple of, like, I've seen snow twice in my life. And both times mm -hmm. I was really disappointed. But I was down in like Narua Wahia and stuff. I find that so strange. Snow is like a, snow is a staple yeah. Yeah, in just, Canada. Like, Canada, yep. There's snow everywhere. Dude, you go to school, you pick up snowball, and you just throw it at the stupid kid's face. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of like no. um, when you hear about, like, when I hear about people who haven't like the beach like haven't been to the beach before because they're so far inland yes. that's what you're saying to me because there's like literally nowhere in new zealand that is Agreed. Yeah, I, i've only been to like cuba beach we don't have we don't have like beaches here we have like a strip of sand maybe covered in rocks and like lake ontario which is riddled with uranium from the nuclear power plant that just you know you mean, what? Like, you mean pickering yeah it's <laughs> exactly it um lake ontario so lake ontario uh is right next to the nuclear power plant like the nuclear power plant basically is right next to the water so like there's like all these rumors and like myths that they just dispose their waste in the lake and so nobody swims in the lake and if you swim in the lake you'll grow like a third arm and stuff so like that's our oh beach gosh. so you know yeah oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. 
Vancouver and Vancouver Island has some nice beaches. Is that true, Nostagmus? Um, I've heard. I've so I literally moved out to the west coast here, and then like two months later, the pandemic hit. So oh, that was that. I haven't really. Yeah, and so oh. I haven't really explored a lot because I've been kind of just not leaving my house. Uh. Like ever. And also okay. there are rules in place right now where you're, they would prefer like it's not like enforced heavily but they're saying we recommend that you do not leave your health authority area so i'm i live in fraser health so um i try not to leave that area that like catchment area hmm. which means like i can't drive to like vancouver or i i shouldn't drive to vancouver mm -hmm. one day one day you'll get to explore yeah, once the pandemic is hopefully now with all the vaccines and stuff like that. So, which uh, to everyone like in chat, yes, get your vaccine. If you haven't gotten your vaccine or are not able to, do, do plan on getting it, please. <laughs> I will. Yes, yes, nystagmus. I yes, will do doctor. my duty for civil civilization. <laughs> it's a good plan. Uh, for us, for vaccines, um, Canada was kind of slow to start with the vaccines, mainly because of supply issues. This is from chat. Sorry, um, I'm just answering a question. In chat. Yeah, I saw but, that. Um, yeah. We're starting to ramp up now that our supply has uh, grown. Um, I know Amer America's like running away with it. Basically, they're doing like three million shots per day. Yeah, that's um, crazy. Which is like super impressive. Um, and so, but um, we're about like we're about like a month and a half behind the Americans in terms of uh, vaccination rate, depending on how you look at it. Like we also have a different policy. Like uh, in Canada, we are delaying the second shot if you get one of the shots by four months. So we're trying to get as many first shots in the people as possible. That makes um, sense, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not without controversy, right? Mm. It's not that that shot regimen is not technically studied. Um, but the idea is that we know that the first shot gives a little bit of protection. Um, and so we're trying to stop hospitalizations. Like that's the whole point, right? Like the reason why we have mm -hmm. lockdowns is not because people get sick with COVID necessarily. It's because COVID has a high rate of hospitalization and ICU rate compared to other viruses. So if we don't have enough ICU beds, we need to stop the amount of infections that we have. Still trying to get into Halifax, huh? <laughs> oh, you just went into the wall of arrows, Sophie. Mm. Oh. Oh, that, 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 oh. No. Oh. What? How many shots of that? One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, shit. seven. No. Oh my god. My arrows will blot this? out the sun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm not going against Persia. Freaking <laughs> 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 Whatever. Well, he didn't have 300,000 arches. So many. <clears throat> wow, okay. How else can I win this game? <laughs> Just have 330 million people for it. No, well, well uh, Zach, like, um, the rate of, of vaccination is is high like per capita per day is really high in the United States. Um, so even like even if you look at the raw numbers, if you look at the per capita, it's high in the United States as well. Like right, I think they're gonna open up to every adult after May 1st. Oh, no. And we're like not close to that yet here in Canada. So we're still That's vaccinating our high risk populations. Yeah, we're doing, I think high risk populations and frontliners and stuff all the way up until July, and July is when they start doing the general population rollouts here. Um, but I, we're just, you know, the, the actual achievement, though, that we've, like, we come up with, like, right now, Canada has four vaccines that are approved, the Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and the AstraZeneca. Um, we come up with four highly effective Medi uh, vaccines within a year, which is, to be honest, um, it goes to show you um, how much we can achieve when we like actually want to do something. 
It is impressive. They, go, uh, they were estimating at the beginning that it would take like years, right? Yeah. It's going to be years before anything starts. Yeah. I remember that. Well, not even, it's not even just the fact that the vaccines were created. It's also how effective the vaccines we've created. Like, honestly, I was like, if I, I would have like uh, been pretty happy with a vaccine that was like efficacious, like 60% of the time. And we have two of them that are above 90% efficacious, which is pretty amazing. Very, very good. Like 60% is like the least effective one we've come up with, which is like, like our basement right now is what I would have deemed as acceptable or like really good, like a year ago when this all started. Mm -hmm. So human ingenuity. <laughs> right. I'm still excited to look at what's going to be with the new rover too. We land the Mars rover. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Perseverance. Gonna have a little helicopter on Mars now. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Imagine being the, the person at NASA who like flies the helicopter. Oh. Uh their daughter, his daughter's on TikTok and she showed it. <laughs> it was kind of cool. Actually. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh really? He's like so that's that is cool. the person it was the person landing it. And um he knew it landed before anybody else in the world did because of the comms delay. And so, like, he was, like, cheering, and then, like, uh, like five seconds later, you see, like, all of NASA's mission control cheering. It's, it was kind of cool. I was like, wow, that's kind of sick. 50% um, uh, fewer grievances. Uh, Butterfinger, yeah. I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm a GP in Canada. I'm a general practitioner. <laughs> all right. Don't think about your votes too much. Not that no. important. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. What is going on? Oh, right, because we're in the thing. We got to vote. <laughs> yeah, we got to yeah, vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duplicates of olives. Olives? Olives? Wow, you're trying to vote olive. against my honey? How dare you? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I need, oh, I need what? the... Uh, Olives are like literally the only luxury resource I have. No, I meant, I meant, I meant, uh, you meant SG who? tried to vote against <laughs> my honey. He tried to give me, let me have no amenities to honey. The savage over here with his, all of his boats coming into my land thinks he's all hot shit. Okay. Hey, listen here, you little punk. Okay. <laughs> I ain't going down without a fight. How is that guy not dead? I'm sorry. What? Oh, it's just RNG, isn't it? Lucky boy. Unbelievable. Un freaking <laughs> believable. All right, I'm getting pillaged here to Stagmus. This decided... defense is just like impenetrable. I can't. <laughs> hey, let's take I can't a keep, weird bubble my back. It. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's why I laughed. <laughs> Do people do people just random say that to you when you tell them you're a doctor? So gar garlic broth. I I'm not gonna give anyone uh, medical advice uh, advice because that's <laughs> actually against our like organization's medical ethics. <laughs> so I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> especially over the internet. Sorry, garlic broth. <laughs> yeah, especially over, especially over the internet. I'll talk about like broad subjects like COVID or something like that, and just very briefly because I'm one. I'm only a GP. I'm not an epidemiologist, so. Um, our, you know, when people ask about like how we do mitigation effects and stuff, it's hard because our public health, um, colleagues are, you know, I, I would, I do not envy any of the decisions they have to make in terms oh God, of, no. um, public health, you know, making those re uh, restrictions and everything like that, because one, um, a lot of them are getting a lot of like harassment on social media for doing their job. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh but yeah that's the answer to that <laughs> what if i swing the pot with 100 bits <laughs> <laughs> maybe no no i have medical advice get a doctor and ask them for medical advice <laughs> <laughs> there you go that is the best medical advice oh okay 
sounds hard. We have two more minutes, folks. Two more minutes. Don't right, worry, SG. You're going to be very disappointed in a second. Come on. What? Uh, right. It's okay, Darwin. Man. Like, like, we all know what we mean, though, when we say we fly the helicopter, the time delay. I get the time delay, but it's still cool, right? Like, <laughs> I'd still be... If it was literally like I got to punch in a bunch of numbers and then watch a screen for 11 minutes while I waited for the machine to respond, I still think that would be pretty cool. And I would even tell if, all my friends that I flew a, a helicopter on Mars. Yeah, or even like even like like that being be the person cool. who programmed that. Like that's sick as that's sick too. Like hey man, I programmed this thing to, to fly on Mars. What? Oh garlic, garlic broth. If you want medical advice from Crushable, uh from the internet, there are many Facebook groups for you. <laughs> yeah. Just go ahead and look. Yeah. <laughs> you, you will find many. Uh, $20. <laughs> uh, hey, foibles, what's up? Oh, man? hello. Hey. Just got back from family stuff. All How right. goes the feud? She's sporadic at the moment, but just, yeah, just expect oh, wow. us all. I totally didn't notice like all the Toas just coming into your land and pillaging. We don't hear it, so if you don't worry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're going, uh, we're going next person to kill a unit wins this. <laughs> <laughs> what? And there's a quadri right next to you. It's so low. <laughs> yeah, there's a. Oh, I right have away. I have a galley with one <laughs> HP. <laughs> yeah, you want to play this? You want to play this? Okay, we'll play Let's this. See who we'll clicks faster. Okay, <laughs> I'm down. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have some kind of ping wrong. Yeah, yeah, maybe, but oh, I no. think you, but you play Dota. You you play Dota more than me, so you click faster. Uh, uh, I thought. What was that? Um, no one is no none of my patients have saw me on on in the internet they asked if any of my patients know i have a sim i'm a civ streamer they have not as far as i know or at least they none of them have told me oh. that'd be such a specifically funny scenario to run into no yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's the ping man Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I actually, I actually misclicked because um, when the error started, it put me onto a different unit. Oh, you have auto cycle. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah. very sorry for you. Right, but I have walls now in all my lands, so good luck. What makes you think I'm here to get out of there? Get out of there! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not allowed over here. No, 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 no. You can pillage that. That's it. That's all you get. You're, you're, no. Take that. Mm. Ow. Oh, no, Sophie's oh, here with her quad dreams. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. I told you it's an assault on all fronts. Ah, uh, the stag base. Now I need your help. <laughs> He's like, nah, 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 nah. I've got my wall of archers there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stag was going attack, attack, attack. What? Attack! I don't care. Do, 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 do. Well, that's why we try not to also like they're all talking about like um, having a doctor who's a streamer and stuff like that. I do have to be careful though because um, I could easily like dox myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Even with just my real like just my first name, if they just knew where I practiced in my first name, they could probably find out a lot about me. Yeah, so, true. but don't say that out loud. Now you've what? taught them exactly how to do it. <laughs> well, like well, I I didn't, they I didn't need. It. That's why I use my <laughs> my moniker, the uh, my avatar name, right? Mm. True. Okay, it is it is past eleven. Do you guys want to call it? I'm honestly, I think I'm in really big trouble with the Maori right now, and I I, I would actually say I lost. I think I think <laughs> I lose. I'm I would looking say real I rough lose. here. <laughs> I had no idea you were in such dire straits, but I also didn't have anything to come help you. I'm pretty impressed by Nystagmus's like defense strategy. Archers. <laughs> wall, wall of arrows, basically, right? Like... Yes. Also, the topography just is so against me. So. Yeah, the way Hickenbeen is set up is ridiculous. That's like an yeah. impossible city to take. 
You got like one actual avenue. Yeah. Which isn't even an avenue right now because he's got an encampment. <laughs> well, I I'm I'm happy to uh say declare we'll, we'll, myself we'll the loser. We'll just say that it was uh uh well one one tie so far, and uh, okay. If we ever play again in the future, then we'll have a tiebreaker for the uh, winner between Australia and Canada. All right. Ooh, we have will we have a uh, Sarge with us? Lin? I yeah man yes, I, I, I hope so I would love okay. I would love to have Sarge and uh, and Zoe do a proper a proper three v three for for sure yeah that sounds good all right sounds good let's uh, okay you're gonna kill this city. okay listen I know you can kill this city like I said you win you win you don't have to do it okay leave it alone I, I just I just wanted to give it a poke to see how much mate, damage it did mate, surprisingly a lot of damage yes oh, it's a twenty nine city right. strength it is piss poor <laughs> all right we're gonna go into yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. we're gonna we're gonna end it here we're gonna end it here yeah, uh, no. No, i understand i lose i lose it's fine yeah, congratulations to sophie and sg for uh the the strong a strong second outing a strong second outing the first one not so much um oh my God. Yeah. the second one fantastic though um Sophie, why don't you tell us uh, where where the people where the people can find you? Oh well, you can find me over on twitch.tv slash SophieQuest. I'm a historical based streamer. I play games that are based on history. That's right. Um, I play Civilization most Fridays. So if you want to come check it out, go check out the link there. Thank you for having me today, Sibshu. It's been fun. Lots of fun. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, SG, where can people where can the people find you? Yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv slash sgnamine underscore. Has an underscore for one odd reason or another. Um, oh, I, I play Civ... Oh, what, what what time did we start this today? Sorry, I'm trying to convert into American. Uh, uh, into we started at 7 p.m. Eastern. 7 p.m. Okay, so I play from 6 p.m. Uh, to theoretically 10. But it almost always ends up going for like 6 or 7 hours because I'm an addict. Um, but yeah, I play you. <laughs> uh, you I just play... need to play one more turn, right? Just one more yeah, turn. Yeah, exactly. So Sunday to Thursday, I will I play there, and I do mainly uh, AI games, and I try and teach people how to play Civ. Nice. If you got questions about the game, come see me. How did you guys I enjoy? Swear your first I'm better than I showed in this. <laughs> no, you played well. You actually played very well. How did you guys uh, enjoy your first multiplayer experience? That's really oh, cool. Oh, um, yeah, it was. To work together as much as we could <laughs> yeah and like the whole honestly the 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 turns in combat is really really different like super different from playing mm -hmm. it is yeah especially you when you're at bad in battle you cannot exploit the ai for gold you can't exploit the ai for trades you gotta like you, you know you have actual relations you gotta take care of in, in a free for all it's much much different even than teams because teams is like oh i'm just gonna declare war on you free for all completely different though uh thank you guys yeah. for coming on the show really really appreciate it thanks for taking the time uh be sure to go follow both sophie and sg on twitch on twitter everywhere where they have social medias go follow them does anyone have any recommendations on who to raid you two oh. you have any friends you want to raid oh i'll check if there's anyone that would align with this community I think nope. all the people I know that play Civ are watching this. So. Oh. Hello. <laughs> well, hello. Emirates? Can you. <laughs> Raid Emirates? Oh, Amor? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm joking. Just, just no. <laughs> If there's no just... recommendations, then I'll just take the person who is second on here. Easter egg on equals find. Sure, we'll do we'll do that. Lumi Nestra. Let's go raid them. Have yourselves uh, everybody a wonderful rest of your night. Let's go raid Lumi and make her night. Say goodbye. Yay. Everybody. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thanks for having us. Bye.